choir of the Lord chosen ministering their life. Clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap unto God. <laughs> Remember that if you are in the congregation or you are just coming in, but you have testimonies of God or chosen, we would like to hear your testimonies. We want to rejoice with you because that way you will expand and increase the windows of receiving new and greater miracles. Rise up, go to my left hand side. Our testimony interviews are waiting. They will give you opportunity to testify. The Bible says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We may have redeemed from the hands of the enemies. Go and testify that God will take all the glory and you receive greater miracles. Campus choir setting up to minister. Campus choir of the Lord chosen charismatic revival movement to minister now. Forget the bleeding cross. It was for you he took the pain. So come back now and be saved. Don't forget the old rugged cross. Don't despise the It was for you, he took the pain, so come back now and be saved. Don't forget, don't forget the old rugged cross, don't despise the bleeding cross. It was for you, he took the pain. He bled and died for death So come back now And be saved Don't forget Don't forget the old wrong and cross Don't despise the bleeding cross It was for you Don't forget, don't forget the old rock and 
made a covenant with the chosen ones. Covenant of peace, covenant of blessing. We serve a mighty God who never, never fails. God's covenants can never fail. God has made. God has made.
Brown. Advise your children your world in higher institutions to join the Lord Chosen Campus Fellowship everywhere, anywhere. They'll be protected. They will finish well in good success and become very responsible to you. So advise all your children and wards in higher institutions to locate choosing Campus Fellowship. Join them and fellowship with them. We'd like to advise again as many that are still on their way and you are hearing us rush and run into the tent of the meeting as a mark of respect to the fact that you are late. It's a great program and God is already here as always. So show evidence that you know you are already late by running into the tent of the meeting and don't make the meeting place a discussion center where you now come to hold the discussions and you are not paying attention to the program pay attention and don't allow distractions or discussions that matter as you sit and focus on to God he will resolve them and dissolve the problems and give you success and victory so don't allow any person to come and begin to tell you old stories come and listen to the story of God and that will change your situation Youth choir set and ready to minister. Youth choir to minister now. Yeah. 
have gone to God, you choir's ministration, the program God's come. Remember to go to share your testimonies, what God or chosen has done for you, so that God will receive the glory and we will also rejoice with you. Go to my left hand side by the pulpit area, testimony interviews are waiting. They will give you opportunity to testify. Setting up to minister this time around is the PRO group of the Lord Chosen Charismatic Revival Movement. PRO to minister now. So great. He is so great. He is so great. Jesus is coming soon. Prepare to meet him. Jesus is coming soon. Ready, ready. 
This must be the National Choir setting up. Is that? Can they set up fast, please? Move fast.
National Choir of the Lord choosing charismatic revival movement ready to minister. Let them minister now.
covenant Today you will renew The covenant of peace and blessings We be my portion. God's covenant of peace. God's covenant of blessings. Now we be your portion. We be my portion. In Jesus' name, we are serving the living God that keeps covenant. Today you will renew the covenant of peace and Fellowships, crusades. I'd like you to rise up and go to my left hand side so that we can give you an opportunity to share those testimonies. Prayers have been made, you've been healed, delivered, you've been prospered. Go to my left hand side and testify. God wants to hear your testimony. And the Bible says in Psalm 107, verse 2, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemies. So go to my left hand side. Our testimony interviews are waiting. They will give you opportunity to testify. Praise the Lord. Last in songs ministrations for today will be from our Dwell sisters who are already on stage. Dwell sisters to minister now.
the truth, the life on the way. Our setting today, no longer delay, there's no other way.
Sisters of the Lord Chosen Charismatic Revival Movement, ministering this very day, the first day of God's Covenant of Peace and Blessing 2024. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's a great day, and great miracles will happen in your lives. Remember, the Lord has visited you in our previous programs, retreats, and crusades. In spectacular miracles, in signs and wonders. We'd like to share in that joy so that God will be glorified. Go to my left hand side by the pulpit area. Testimony interviews are waiting. They will give you opportunity to testify. Remember the commandment of God in the Bible, Psalm 107, verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, who may have redeemed from the hands of the enemies. Kindly, therefore, go to my left hand side and testify in compliance with that injunction. And more blessings will come your way. With this, beloved brethren, guests, and invited, we launch into the time of testimonies when we listen to the testimonies of the great and mighty things God our children have done and will continue to do. Very appropriate that we receive the testimonies of the Lord by clapping unto Him. Clap unto God. Appreciate this great God of the church. Join for the worshipers in choosing today even for the world at large, by reason of this program. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Madu Amarachin. I live at 120 Oshaw Drive, Olodia Papa, Lagos. I want to thank this God of choosing for making me a choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I want to thank this God of choosing for how he delivered me from an accident on Thursday, this last Thursday that just passed. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On my way coming to church that morning, while I was about crossing the road at this um, bus stop called the um, church bus stop, so uh, while I was crossing the road, I looked left and right. Everywhere was clear. So I'm about crossing the road. All of a sudden, the Okada from nowhere. I don't know where the Okada come from. And hit me and my baby. I was backing my baby hmm. at my back. 
hit me and I fell at the middle of the road. Your car that climbed my leg. My baby he fell at even at that middle of the road. No motor. Nothing was even passing. Look at it. All the hey. roads were standing. Hey. No motor was hey. passing. Hey. Everything was standing. Power. Even my leg that the Okada man climbed on top. I did not even fall. Only you, you come do this. Hallelujah. Clap on to God again. It's like a film show. But this power upon him. And I pray for the household and every member of the family. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for the chosen one, I and my family. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Rejoice because you are a chosen. She said everything stood still. No vehicle, no other thing. As she was lying flat on the road after being knocked down and nothing happened to her. Only God of choosing can do this. And this is available for the choosing people. This grace is available for you. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Zijoma Okeke. I'm worshiping at my Jidu in Ikrodu. And I'm living at uh, number 50, Araromi Street, my Jidu. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I stand here on behalf of my sister that are living in USA to testify all the afflictions enemy has been afflicting her since six years now. All the arrow, all the manipulations and the vocations that are sending to her. At times in the dream, in the physical, they will send, she stayed like this in the dream. She saw herself where fire was burning and the hand carry her and throw her inside the fire. And God was choosing to intervene hmm. and brought her out. Fire did not burn her. Physically like that, uh, a postcard will appear. They have sent a rough stroke. Just all the kinds of sicknesses they have sent to her God of choosing, did not allow them. And uh, at the end of it all, all the arrows that are sending to her, arrow of death, a woman manifesting and saying that she will kill her and she will be declaring what she is. I am a choosing three times and they vanish away. So in all, this year, a brother bring her picture, and the sister gave the picture to our G.O., our daddy in the Lord. She, he prayed and counseled it. All, up to this moment, no more affliction, no more arrow, no wow. more weapons, no more sleepless of night that she suffered. Six years. Clap on to God. And everything stopped automatically. Thank Nothing you. is happening to her now. She sleep like a baby now. Hey. And wake up like a baby. Power. No more arrow. No more afflictions. She is so sound and well sound now. Thank so, you, Father. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And she told me to come and testify on her behalf. Very good. And she bring this token, 100,000, in appreciation of what God has done to her. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Jesus. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to pray to our dad, G.O. 
May this very God that called him strengthen him and empower him. Let this very God energize him. Amen. Maintenance from above. Amen. No weapon fashioned against him shall prosper. Amen. As he started where he will end up well. Amen. May this very God be with him and his family in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say heaven at last to him and his family in the name of Jesus. Amen. And heaven at last to all the chosen worldwide and my family at last. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover this testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Clap unto God again. Clap unto God for ending the affliction. Pastor prayed on the picture, canceled it, and all of them disappeared. Today, our pastor will pray for you. Any affliction we enter hell in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Chidera I am from Amukoko. And my branch is Amukoko branch. I want to thank God for the mercy He has for me and my family. Thank you, Father. Thank you for mercy. My testimony goes like this. It was one, like, will I say, there was a day my mom traveled. She traveled to Bini, no, working for her junior sister's daughter's traditional marriage. But before she left, she was like, please, I want all of you to stay in order. I don't want any problem. Oh. I don't want any wahala. Those people should stay in order. She was like, all of us were like, okay, no problem. She should travel. So, one Saturday time, I came out from work. I was like, the door, our front door was locked. I was like, what happened? So, I followed the back door into, into our house. So, I discovered my sister, she was sitting down. She was like, sir, why is the front door locked? She said, it's my senior brother that locked it inside. I asked her why. She said, she don't know. I said, okay, no problem. And then I was hungry and tired. Then I asked her to like she should give me food. Let me eat. When she was when she gave me the food, I was eating the food. Then my elder brother, the one that signed the both of us, now came out from the market. Now say ah, why is our phone door locked? My junior sister that that tell her that is my my other senior brother, the one that signed me direct that locked the door inside. He was like why? She said she don't know. So he was like forcing the door, forcing forcing the door. They then forced the door, open the door. So he, as he forced the door open the door, everywhere was messed up. Everywhere was just smelling. And then I was eating. So I just stand up and say, ah, what kind of nonsense is this? Why is everywhere messed up like this? So he, he was like, that, he was like training right, like trying to like fight with me. So my other senior brother said I should leave him. I should just go outside, I should leave him. When I left, I just went outside. And that day was raining, heavily raining. The rain was too much. So I went outside, I was like, just face outside. Just be looking at, just be looking. I don't know why he's, he's coming from my back with force, full speed. He does like from under. He does push me. When he pushed me, I just land with my head, boom, in the floor. I discover from my nose, blood, my eye, blood. Immediately, I give up. Hmm. Blood from my nose, my eyes, my ears, blood. So everybody was crowd. Everybody was crowd. Everybody was crowd. The people just got out. Ah. So my senior brother now came out. Now they now like. Watch me to the first hospital. The man looked at me. Ah, he said, Ah, no, 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 let it go. Now I'm dead. I'm good. I'm dead already that time. So they rushed me to the second hospital. The same thing. They rejected me. Rushed me to the third one. They rejected me. It was the fourth one. It was the fourth one when they rushed me there. The man now looked at me. Now, now rush inside and bring the shot and get me. When he get me, he now asked them, now tell them that they should rush me to one hospital at Yaba, one military hospital. When they rush me there, Behold, every all my shorts, all my my clothes was soaked with blood. So when they rushed me, it happened. They say nothing happened. It was like okay, but something. She now said that she see, she like she feel a sign in her heart that something happened. She was like she was my, my brother was like nothing happened. She was like I want to know like she now my, my brother was like nothing happened. She was like I want to know like she now from that place and travel back to Lagos. When she came back to Lagos, behold, she saw me in the hospital lying 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 lively in coma. 
She was like, what's happened? Then I explained everything to her. She was like praying, 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 praying. God help. I regained myself back. But when I regained myself back, I wasn't with my senses. So she now found out that I was behaving like abnormal. So she now called the doctor. The way she called the doctor, the doctor now, now check on me, now look at me. Now say they should go and run a scan in my brain. So when they run a scan, they had discovered that my, my, my skull had a crack. And my head, my brain was full with blood. And the only option is that they will run me. Yes. And my, and my mom, mom said no. That it cannot happen. The man said that is the only option. And that says yes, it's 50-50. And my mom said that it cannot happen. Hmm. So she was praying that she was praying, praying, praying. I was in the hospital. She was praying. I was just looking at them. I was just looking at her. She was praying. Something happened. Something great happened in my life. Hey! Some group of people just enter in the hospital. They were putting on this apron. When they enter, they were asking me, Do you know this one? I said no. I, 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 sorry, I said yes. I was shaking my head. Do you know this one? I said yes. I was shaking my head. But I don't know them. Oh. When they entered, after they asked me some questions, they, when they entered, they prayed and left. When they prayed and left, something great happened. Hey! Something like breeze. Just blow my ear. Boom! Immediately, I recover everything. Everything that I lost, hey, I recover hey. it back in my head. Hey! I was like, ah! I was like, ah! I was like, look at myself. I was asking my, because my mom was beside me. I was like, ah, mommy, what happened? What happened? Why did I get here? She was like, calm down, calm down, calm down. She was explaining to me, calm down. What like, happened? How did I get here? How did I get here? She was like, calm down. So when these people left, I asked her, these people left, who are who, who these people? She said, the children people. And I said, God. I was like, looking at myself, how did I get here? How did I get here? She was like, calm down. Immediately, the, the overall doctor now came inside. Now stand outside, now looking at me. Now be shouting, Chidera, Chidera, welcome back to life. Hey. I was like, eh? Where did I go? Now say welcome back to life. You now come close to me. Now ask him some question. Ask me go through me. Now to walk. So she like was like I should stay indoor for nine good months. I should not come outside. If I come outside, ha, that I will lose my brain, my brain again. My sense again. No, I was like okay, no problem. She was like okay, no problem. So we, she discharged us. When she when he discharged us, we now went home. We were staying indoor like going to say it's like after five good months, healing that will take nine months. Take good five months. I was healed and I was strong. Then I came out and start work. So, but something shocked me. I was like opening the my file because they give me a file in that hospital. I was open, going through the file and also and I look at the amount of the B. The money was much. And I asked my mom, "That's who now pay all this amount?" She now says, "My uncle." Hey God, I say, "Let God." Someone like would I say, "I don't even put a hope, God, but He will help me." He was um, it was it was him that 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 clear all the whole B, pay the whole B, pay me uh, because you know some most people before they will start treatment they will tell you that they put some certain amount. So it was him. He was the one that clear everything. Oh God, I pray for him that he will never run dry in his life. Amen. He will never short the place that he bring that money to sponsor me to to like give me to like God help him to bring that money to sponsor me to, for, for me to be alive this moment. He will never run dry in his life. So after everything, I was like, was the way I was feeling before. I was feeling weak, but then I was feeling stronger and stronger than before. So I came here to thank God, to appreciate this God, hmm. this God of choosing, hmm. that lived short. Hmm. This was the sinful life I was living. Hey, He look at me, finish, and bring it, he bring me life, life to, give me life again to live. The second chance to live. I said, this God, I will worship you till I die. If I have only 50 years to worship in this world and accomplish my mission in this world, Lord, those, I, no problem. I have I, just, I'm, I agree with that. I say that Baba God, receive all glory, receive all honor, receive all adoration, all praises, all thanks to your name alone in my life and my soul in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So at this point, I pray for my daddy Gio and his family, heaven at last. I pray that the God that called him for this, to, for, for this kind of time, for my own family, for my own life, to come and rescue us from the hands of the enemies, he will never leave him. He will be with him to the end of his life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for the whole choosing world by heaven at last. Me and my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. I just want to reconfirm, you know, you said in that terrible state of death, comma. Sir? I said in that your state of death, being in coma. Yes. And maybe the doctors were doing whatever they wanted to do. 
And he said, suddenly you saw a group of people. Like that one, it was after I was in coma for five days. Then I now regained my, my, like my life, myself back. When I regained myself, I was not like with my senses. Okay. So some group of people entered the hospital. They were like, do you know this one? I was just shaking my head. Do you know this one? I was just shaking my head. And I said, okay. And now, after they prayed, they now left. When they left, something like breeze. This breeze, I like, the breeze, the breeze is so special. Just blow in my ear as the breeze blow. And I recover, and I record, and I recover everything that I was lost in my brain. Everything that was lost in me was recovered. Okay, after the operation. No, no, I don't, they did not do the operation. After those people entered, after they entered, after they prayed, finished, they now left. And then you discovered that you became whole and hearty. Yes. You know, where I was asking that is that, is, is angels or choosing that came to that work, isn't it? Yes, it's the angels of choosing. It's angels yes. that came to do that work. No, 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 no that are human beings, not agents. Okay, they came physically. They came physically, yes. When prayer was made. Yes, they came physical. Okay, and after that, when they left, everything recovered in your head. Yes, sir. You became whole and hearty. Yes, sir. Well, let's clap on to God and appreciate Him. Clap on to God. See very, very clear that that was direct intervention by God of Chosen. Say it's after those prayers that she recovered that he, sense, he recovered his senses and everything. God of Chosen answers prayers. You know, the doctors have seen something that was terrible. They said 50 50. And it was clear that death was already there. And then prayers made by chosen people and death cleared the way. He recovered completely. Be a chosen, and you will enjoy these ministries and miracles in Jesus' name. Let's clap on to God again and appreciate it. Clap on to God. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Bere Gift Onyechi. I reside at number 23, Itelon Street, Jeshire. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. I joined Choosing last year. I want to testify on how God gave me the grace and the opportunity to be among those that baptized yesterday. Oh, Choosing God, our chosen clap unto God. I also want to thank God for granting me admission to study in the School of Federal University of Technology. Over here. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. I want to pray for my pastor, heaven at last for him and his family in Jesus' name. Amen. And for the choosing ones, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember when you resume at the university there, join Chosen Campus Fellowship. I can bet there is one there. And join in moving it to a higher level. Clap unto God and appreciate them. Clap unto God of Chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. If you are just coming in, but you have testimonies of God or chosen, or you are in the midst of the congregation, please rise and go to my left hand side. Opportunity will be given to you. You will testify, and God will take the glory while we rejoice with you. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing people to praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Job Adams. I thank God for the new salvation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. I joined Chosen 20, uh, January 29 last year. Thank you, Father. The reason this is my testimony be like it's a long is that I did, I'm not a Chosen by then. When God of Chosen did this to me, this did for me. I want to confirm to people that our Geo said that if you are a choosing, your entire household is covered. Hmm. It work on my heart. It work on my life. It work, it, my testimony goes like this: My mother was a choosing, so she is the one who planted choosing by my village. Start from my father's city room. So since then, she's troubling me to join choosing, to join choosing. I thought that church, all churches are the same as some people think today. That is what is in my mind by then. I go to church and I live life the way I want it. So along the line, 
until 2012, when I built my house on Kogi State, I went to village and bring my mother to my place. So she said before she will follow me to Kogi State, she will, I have to acquire whether there is a choosing church there. Hmm. And on secondly, anytime she wants to go any crusade, I will sponsor her to that place. I said, no problem. Follow me, let's go. Then we left home, come to Kogi State. When we're living there, 2011, when we go to Ingbidi Crusade, I sponsor her to go. Then on 2012, when she wants to go again, I sponsor her to go. Before she left, she told me that she wants to change her Bible. Her Bible has where? I said, okay, no problem. How much do you need? She told me, I give to her. Then she went to that crusade. When she come back, she brought some gift. And immediately she come to my house, she forced my children and my wife to follow he, her to choose it. Hmm. I said, no problem. Let them follow you. In Sunday like this, they will go to church. I will be at home doing nothing. So just like that. Until 2016, when she had wear on age, I took her back home. 2016, she died. So when she died 2016, I went home with my vehicle, with my children, to go and do the burial. After we do the burial finish, we started coming. My younger sister, the one that is, I see her directly, she said, ah, she wants to take permission from me, from this Bible. The Bible belongs to mama. And if she started using it now without telling me, her conscience will be judging her. Please, she wants to be using the Bible. I said, no problem, take it. Anytime you people like to share her property, you people should share it, no problem. I'm not coming home quickly again. She said, okay, no problem. So she keep the Bible on top of my car. That when we are going out, we took her out because we crossed her compound before we joined our express to Kogi State. She forgot the Bible. It is in when we went to Ubola for when we eat, that is when we see the Bible. By the time we see the Bible, my wife said, Ah, how can we send this Bible back? She had forgot this Bible. I said, Not worry, leave it. I will leave it inside my motor there. Because even that time, my mother placed some stickers, choosing stickers for my motor. But <laughs> even when I go to choking point, some go say, Hey, choosing, choosing, go, go, go. go. But I thought that that is just like that. I, know, I never know that is glory of my mother. Hey! So, glory of the God of your mother. A moment she died, that is it just like a wind. I run into debt, debt I cannot understand. Hmm. Not knowing to me, I went to where I'm working, I resigned. On no any cause. That house I built, I turned to tenant inside the house, start paying money. Hmm. I will be walking on the road like this, I will be crying, shedding tears. I don't know what to do. So I called my elder sister, the one that is senior, all of us. Say, see, 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 see what I'm passing through. How can I come home again? How can I be tenant again? Now, when I'm training children, how can I be easy to get house again? So my sister said, okay, mama has been warning you since. You think that all churches are the same. What you should do, go to choosing. That power that is glory of her mother working for you that time, that power will work for you directly. Hmm. Go to Lord choosing. I said, okay, which program they have instantly now? He said, they have program in Mbidi, uh, Mbidi Crusade 2017. You should go there. I run around and find my way to that place. After the pro I was there before the program starts. After the program, our GEO man said, if you are here, you have a, a document that is not eating you salary. Raise it up. I raised my documents up. After a pre finish, I left. I didn't apply for work for anywhere. I didn't discuss any work for any somebody. I was in my place one day. Somebody called me, say, come oh, they need so 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 person, so 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 place. That is why I came. They give me work. From that work, all those things I lost, I required it back. Clap on to God. Hey, God is the God of chosen. Thank you, Father. You know, just stop there. So along the line, my children and my wife still going to choosing. I will still sit, start at, sit at home. So one day, I've been in a town meeting. I've been in a local government meeting. One day, my wife come home and say, are you not going to child delegation? One of you people are doing in your town meeting. I said, okay, okay, okay. I run inside the bedroom and bath. After I bath finish, I went inside my car and picked that Bible. The moment I open gate like this to come out, I hear a voice. He said, why not make yourself available like the owner of this Bible? I turned like this, I didn't see anybody. Hmm. I look rude, I didn't see anybody. I said, yes, I am the owner of the Bible. The Bible purchased with my money. He said, yes, but you are not the rightful owner. 
the rightful owner have served and left. Why not make yourself available like the owner of the Bible? Hey! Then I started going to church. When I reached there, I started thinking, what is saying this? When I reached the church, they welcome me and give me a seat. I sat down there. When the man of God began to preach, the topic he used that day, he said, there is no rest on earth. He said, if you acquire anything on earth, think that that thing can give you rest, it's lie. It's only in the Lord you will find rest. He began to break it down from scriptures. Along the line, he said, let it give us a top reference. If the president of the head of the state come here now and say, I'll give you 10 million, he doesn't want you to suffer again. Instantly, problem has come. You will start to dig ground where you hide so that they won't see that money. So to tell you there's no rest on earth. So he said, maybe you are here, you are backslid, or you want to give your life to Christ. Rise up, let him pray for you. So some of us rise up. After he pray finish, I went home. I don't have joy. I don't have joy. So we go to that place that we, that man will come into child dedication in the evening. When we went there, they serve us food, they serve drink. That voice still repeat again. Say, Adams, you will take only one bottle of beer to remember the day you leave drink on earth. I said, ah. I drink a lot. Say, only one bottle to remember the day you leave drink. So when they are shining drink, I take only one bottle. I went, to, I, I went home. When I went home, I'm thinking, what am I going to do to have peace? No joy in me. So along the line in the morning, I went to the, that church. We do morning, morning devotion. They said that they have prayer and fasting, dry fasting for three days. I joined them. Along the line, I begin to worship there regularly. In the morning, on Sunday, my children will go to choosing. I will go there. They begin to mock me. Say, why not bring your children to here? This and that. I said, no. I know why I left them there. So until one day, I be in a dream. I saw a multitude of people when we were doing end of the year party. People eating, drinking. I saw one man drinking a lot like that. I said, ah. What gift, do, any good thing do you see from drink? Why are you drinking like this? The man started making caricatures. I should forget it that. Somebody tapped me from my back. I turned back like this. He said, you and these people are the same thing. Nothing different. I said, me? He said, yes. It's true. You are preaching them the word of God. Whenever they want to, they to preach, you preach them. I then following it. You and them are the same thing. That is when I wake up. By the time I wake up, I tap my wife, she wake. I say, see, 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 some dream, my dream will see. It means God wants me to leave that meeting. But if I leave it, what of if, some, if I get a problem? Uh, who will intervene? This and that. My wife tell me that I should pray well. When I pray, the Spirit of God will break the dream well worth to me. That is when I plan, I decide to leave choosing. One day, the Spirit said I should go and meet Lord choosing pastor, share the dream with him. I said, why not go to my pastor? He said, no. Go to lunch with him, pastor. Go and share it to him. Hmm. I went there. When I went there, I met Pastor Tony. He said, Pastor Tony, see what I'm passing through. See what? He said, who give you a number? I said, it's one of your men, give me. So when I explained to him, I explained to him, he said, okay, no problem. What happened is that continuously bring freedom, come. I said, no need to preach me to come. I'll be convinced by spirit that I will live there. So just pray, let's go. As he prayed for me, that is when I joined choosing fully. Clap on to God on the a mysterious, kind and loving call. Thank you, Father. Covenant keeping God. Since then, I didn't regret to be a chosen. Rather, I regret not to join since. Hmm. I regret not to listen to my mother then. Hmm. So since then, God is faithful to me, working for me directly every area in my life. This month, God gave me a graduate. Hmm. I said, that God, I do this. Let his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Clap unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. At this junction, I pray to my geo, heaven at last. I pray to choosing one, heaven at last. I pray for all my, I and my family, heaven at last. Choosing is a place to be. Clap unto God of the chosen again. Excellent testimony that I would like to be repeated again. Everything is in the testimony. He titled his testimony when he started with the word of the pastor of chosen that if you are choosing, your family is covered. And he proved it because her mother was a choosing indeed. He wasn't following, but eventually today, he is a choosing and he said he is regretting 
not joining the Lord choosing when the mother invited him, but that today he's so happy about what God or Jesus is doing. We don't know how many people that are saying all churches are the same. That's what he was saying. And he lost everything, lost his peace until one of the sisters said, go to choosing. She didn't, he didn't even join. Went to another church and things continued to go worse. Now he said choosing and everything has turned around for good for him. Be a choosing. It's a different place. It's a heavenly place. And this God will prosper you and maintain you consistently. You will not be falling and rising. It will be steady and you go to heaven at last. Clap unto God and I appreciate it. Clap unto God. The next testifier. Joseph, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Wana from uh, Aja uh, Autonomous Branch. I thank God that today I'm a choosing member. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Glory to God. I would like to thank God for my salvation. Thank you, Father. Uh, before I joined Chosen, I was in a lot of uh, uh, societies. Uh, okay, I think some people are not hearing. Can our technical department try to see what can happen mm. for every person to I hear? I was in a lot of societies. Before you joined Chosen? Yes. You were in many societies? There was many societies. Okay. I was an idol worshiper. And uh, I was a member of Guru Maharaji. Uh, but uh, today, I've been convinced by one of your members and I joined Chusin. Clap on to God. <laughs> Luckily, indeed, the other time, the Lord revealed unto me that since you have joined Chosen, you are now holy. You should no longer drink. Do not fornicate. Don't worship idols. Because if you do so, I shall reject you. Hmm. You should know now that I am inside you and you are in me. Because you are holy. Hmm. So, and I woke up. Hmm. Since then, my life has changed entirely. Power! <laughs> Consistent! All the way. God of choosing. Holy God of choosing. And he said unto me, Ask me of anything, and I shall do it for you. Hmm. Because of that, I tested him. I had problem, and I went on to the altar. I spoke to the altar, and the problem had been solved immediately. Power! God is the God of the chosen. For that matter, I feel I have to come and testify before the congregation to let how far the God of chosen has been working. Hmm. and how it works for me. For that matter, as may the Lord allow me to uh, pray for the for Gio and my autonomous pastors. May the Lord, my God that spoke to me, may he give our Gio the wisdom and the knowledge to upkeep the church forever. Amen. May He give him more strength. Amen. May He give me more wealth. Amen. Likewise, the autonomous, our autonomous pastors, the ushers, those that convinced me to join uh, chosen. Hmm. May the Lord be with them all. Amen. When, when was this that you actually joined the choosing? When was it? Last year. Last year. That's when you joined the choosing. 
Brethren, let's clap on to God and appreciate him. God of Jesus is so great. It's only God that can do this. Member of many societies, secret and otherwise, worshipping idol. And he also said a member of Guru Maharaj. But now he has met God of Chusim, who has told him to be holy because he, God, is holy. And that you do everything for him and indeed did everything for him. That's what you get as you become a Chusim, maintain your position, everything will work together for your good in Jesus' name. Shall we rejoice with our brother and clap unto God? Clap unto God. Great testimony there. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Uche Rose Mubacho. I reside at number eight, Adija Two Street, Ekotuegwe. My branch is Zion Branch. My house care is Hassan. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life and in my family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It started on, 20, on the 25th of uh, February 2020 when I lost my junior brother. So the battle started from then. After the death of that boy, my mother had it and fell sick. So due to I'm the first daughter of the family, so I have to leave whatever I'm doing to go and stay with her in the hospital. So I was there till a year and she eventually died. Then after the burial, we went to home for her burial. After burial, then we came back here in Lagos. So my husband went to work. He was coming back from work one fifth day. That day was October 30th, 2021. Then we were here doing program, Woman That Have Fine Favor with God. So when my phone rang, it was my husband's number. They called me that my husband was coming back from work. He fell at the Sele Express there. Then some good Samaritans rushed and carry him and put him inside moto. So I rushed from here, I went to, when I saw my husband, whom I was with in the morning before he left for work, is no longer the same person. So I was crying, I said, what is this? They say it's BP, we took him to hospital. So the BP was high. Then they said the thing turned to stroke. I was carrying him from hospital to hospital. From that 2021 to three months, that October 2021, three months. So I told them to discharge him. So we came here on one fateful Thursday. We've been coming here. I've been carrying him to this place, chattering a keke from my house to this place. Every program, every Thursday. So one fateful Thursday, Daddy was ministering, healing ministry, ministration. So that day, he we came with uh, keke, the special brethren took him with wheelchair, as usual, to that uh, sick people's side. So uh, when daddy was ministering, then my husband stood up from his seat that Thursday. Then he started coming to pulpit here. So he was walking from that place here. Since that day to today, my husband is walking, choosing prayer to the Lord. Clap unto God. Clap unto God. God will choose and answer prayer. Thank you, Lord. So it was like devil never tire. So after that, that day, that uh, healing, so God helped him. He's now working very fine. Uh, uh, that 2022 again, that was November, uh, sorry, uh, uh, June 7th, 2022. We were, I was in the house after the VG here, leaders VG. So I went to him. That, that day was Monday, stroke Tuesday morning. So I went to him. When I went to him, I was sleeping in the house. So our house got fire. Not from my house. So it was six flats in that compound. So that six flats from backyard 
the thing caught fire and burned to ashes. I nearly died in the house. So when I was shouting, my husband came from where he went for pressing at a solo general hospital. He was coming back from hospital. He used leg and they kicked the door and they drove me out from the house. So I came out, the generator, uh, uh, gas, everything, boom, boom, fire caught everywhere. The thing enter our house. So smoke full everywhere. When I came out, I lay down on the floor. None of us in that, flat, in that compound bring out pin from that house. Everybody, their property, their house, everything, burned to ashes because nobody was at home. This thing happened around uh, 10 to 11 in the morning. Everybody has gone. People that used to go work has gone to work. People that used to go market have gone to market. I have not resumed my market because I was still taking care of my husband. So after that, I lie down on the floor at Main Road. I say, God, naked I come to this world. Naked I will go. Just like as Job did. So I thank God that I'm still alive. Let your will be done. So I stood up. People was looking at me to be crying or panicking or shivering. I did not do anything of such. So my branch people, they stood by me. The pastor there by then was Pastor John. They stood by me in everything. The time my husband got the, the problem, the time he had the problem, the sick, the pastor wa that was there was Pastor Valentine. So all of them, they stood by me, both prayer, money, food, everything, including my junior sister. They were taking care of me, doing everything. I did not even feel it. So as God may have it, that one, go. So this one now, last year, um, January 13th, precisely. So I was going to market. I borrowed cooler to go to market. So my going to market, the motor I entered got accident on the road. So when the motor lose brake, when I preach finish inside the boat, the when I saw how the driver was in, I asked the driver, what is going on? Because I was sitting in front of the, uh, I was not sitting at the front, but the first seat. Uh -huh. Then when I asked the driver, what is going on? He said the motor had loose brake. Oh, that was Orila. The motor had climbed up. You have finished Orila and climbed up in order to come down to, this, uh, to that Ejora bridge. So the motor was rushing very fast. So the thing was so severe. I said, ah, what is going on? So when I asked, he said, the motor has loose brick. Choose him, pray, oh, call your God. Oh. And my mouth closed. I could not open mouth and say any word. I was just looking at him. So the other man said, why not declare whom you are? The other man just keep me by. He said, I should keep by. Let me see what is going on. Before I know it, I opened my mouth and said, ah, I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. Where is the God of my pastor power? It's show thyself. So immediately I shouted that the motor now divided and they go and hit a, a trailer that parked at a place. So as he hit the trailer, four people died instantly. As they died there, the, the other people, all of us there, nobody that did not get injury. Everybody, some their leg break, hand break, head break, this place, some eye came out. But God, God did it for me. I was just looking. I didn't know that I was even have injury. When I shattered that in the motor hit, then with force, I sat down on the, on the, inside the motor. That the motor pushed me to sit down there. I didn't know that that time, that time I was sitting down, the thing caught my leg. So as it caught my leg, the flesh here just caught into two. The thing fall like this. As it fall, I lose my scarf and tie it. Then I was shouting, who will bring me down? Who will bring me down? Because I cannot come out. So the driver, nothing happened to him. He came inside the motor again through his own side. Then he pushed the seat with one other man. Then they carried me up from that motor and sit me down outside. By then, my throat dried. I was like, I, I want to faint. So I asked them to give me water. I was very, very hungry of water. The old man there said, they should not give that woman any water. They should leave her. They should not give her any water. So I was there. They said, if they give her any water, something will happen now. Then when he said it, I cooled down. Then before you know it, motor came. They carried the ones that are alive inside the motor with the blood everywhere. Those that are dead, they call an uh, ambulance. One, all these uh, uh, Lagos State uh, rescue something. 
They called the motor. They came and they packed all of them inside the, uh, that uh, van. Then they took us to hospital. By then, I don't know where I was again. Then when, I, when they reached the hospital, they asked me if I know anybody's number. I couldn't talk. I was hearing them, but it was in, inside. I couldn't talk. I was like that until after two days. Then they asked me. I told them my sister's number. Then my sister rushed down with my son. When they saw me, she started crying. I said, don't cry. So when they saw the thing, after they saw it, the thing could not stay well. The thing rotting inside and was smelling. My legs swelled up like this. I couldn't walk with it. My woman lady, everybody, we are coming to my place to see me. So after everything, during that election time, that was last year election, the doctor said they would discharge us whether you are, you, your injury is serious or not. Everybody should leave the hospital. That they cannot accommodate anybody there because of the election. They don't know how the, ele the nature of the election will be. So they Susan delivered you. Yes, sir. Delivered your husband. Yes, sir. Of all the woes and attacks of the enemy. Yes. You are victorious. Yes, sir. By power of God or choosing. Yes, sir. That's your testimony. Clap unto God. Let's clap unto God uh, and appreciate uh, Him. And today, as God may have it, my sister and my son, they rent another house for us. Two bedrooms first. So I'm now on my own. So all those things I, I lost, God of choosing restore all of them back in folds to me. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to pray to our daddy G.O. Daddy, I'm not qualified to pray to you, for you. But as may be, I will say a word and God will establish it. Daddy, you will not die young. Daddy, because of me and my family, you are called to this ministry. Because it is because of me and my family, no evil shall be for you. All the days of your life shall be progress. Whether devil like it or not, you will live to fulfill this ministry. You Amen. will cheer us up even to heaven Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. For you and your family, heaven at last, Thank you, As my, my branch, I pray that God of choosing will continue to uphold each and every one of us. Amen. My pastors that are no longer there, even the current pastor now, because the day the, I, want, I, I rented my house, the day I wanted to dedicate it, our, this new pastor, they came. I haven't gone to my branch since this thing happened till today, but I told them, all of them came, both our, our secretary, our branch secretary, Brother Lucky, so many of them are woman leader, now regional woman leader. All of them came. They pray for me, and they are, they are still praying for me. Even our state woman leader, they are all praying for me, cheering me up, asking me of my body. May Almighty God bless each and every one of them in the name of Jesus. Amen. None of them will have any problem encounter in Jesus' name. Even Amen. they have, whether good or bad, they must surely be victorious as God make me a victory. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover them all with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Chosen Jesus, worldwide, God. heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus I and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. For the chosen ones, victory is certain, victory is assured. And testimony is your portion. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. After this testifier, we are going to take our first offering in today's program. Remember, this is a retreat, it's a crusade. Our retreats and crusades, special programs, we normally take two offerings. One towards the end of the testimony time, and then one, the last one towards the closing. So prepare now for your offering your tithe, your seed of faith, and anything, whatever you want to use to bless the name of this God. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Prince Ugoji. I'm from, I'm, I reside at Number 17, Elegude Street, Shasha, Lagos. My branch is Shasha in Akumajon region. And then um, I thank God for making me a choosing 
Thank you, Father, for making him a chosen. I have two testimonies to share. The first one, I thank God for how he delivered me from the spirit of insanity. Clap hmm. unto God. Great testimony. Thank you, God of Tuesday. This testimony I'm about to share, my mom actually shared it in Makodi, when we were in Benue State. But I feel um, the miracle happened to me, and I owe it to this God of choosing to, to say it myself to the congregation, choosing praise the Lord. Very good, very good decision. I thank God for, um, for the gift of life and what he's been doing for me. I ask God for mercy, because this testimony has delayed and um, I ask God to show me mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. To him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, back, back in 2006, December, I've forgotten the actual date, but it's actually between 4th to 7th. It was actually on a Wednesday. A Wednesday. Okay, we... We had a lecture. I was in school then in Oweri. We had a lecture. Okay, our lecture ended by 12. And then the next lecture was supposed to be by 3. So what actually happened was, my lunch is not far from the school. So I decided to go home and rest for me to come back before the lecture. Only for me to get to school by 2.45, and realized the lecturer already came by one. So when I got there, it was almost rounding up. I decided to collect the lecture notes for my colleague, for my classmates, and then started writing. So when they finished, they all left. We were like about three other persons, and then myself four. So I was, I was writing down the lecture. I was just copying the lecture notes, and then all of a sudden, as I was busy copying, I was all busy copying, someone came and stood by me, brought out his hand. I didn't even look at him as I was writing, I just shake the hand. I shake the hand and then continued writing. The person was still standing there. This is, this is not a dream, it's actually a reality, physical. Hmm. The person was still standing there. That was when I looked up and saw a haggard looking man. Dirty like a madman. Dirty. He was just he was just looking at me and then smiling at me. I was surprised. So, and, um, okay, after some time, he now left and walked past those people. That was when I realized my my system changed. My head started doing me somehow. I called the people in front. One of the ladies named Comfort. Do you see this person? No. I said, do you know this person? They said they didn't see anybody. <laughs> that, was when I, that was when I realized, that was when I realized the issue is serious. Okay, first of all, um, my first time in choosing was in 2005. I forgot to mention that. My dad usually take me to choose. When I came for industrial training, IT, my dad usually brings me to choose him here. So, um, okay, I started, I tried to manage the situation back then in Oweri, and my, my family were raised in Makodi, Beno State. I tried to manage the situation, but I couldn't. At the point, I called my dad and told him the situation. And that year, 2006, they were not planning on coming back for Christmas to the East. So my dad, what he did was, he sent my mom. My mom came and told me, I just explained the situation to her. She said I should not worry. That there is a program, the next, um, I think she came on the 29th, that the next year, January, that there is a program at Umuze, Umuze 2007, that, that everything will, will be okay. I said no problem. I went there, I think it was a three day program. We went a day before that, two days before that day. And then we sat 
The whole thing was still disturbing me. After the testimony, a Jew came to the pulpit and started praying, 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 praying. Started praying. Then, after the prayer, he started the ministration. In this, in 2007, ministered during the ministration. I realized I started feeling better. I started mm. feeling better. I started mm. feeling better. That Thank first you. day. Thank you, Lord. The second day, we finished that day, we went, and then came back the next day. The next day, I didn't even realize there was something happening to me. Because what usually happened was, at the point, I would look as if, one, the first one was memory loss. So it was so severe that it affected my CGPA in school. It was so severe. So I, one was memory loss, the second was as if my spirit wants to leave me. Once what, what, what it comes, it will look as if my spirit wants to leave me. So after the first day, I started feeling a bit better. The second day, I did not realize there was something wrong with me. I didn't even realize. It was actually the third day that my mom came to where I was and asked me, how am I feeling? That was when I realized I actually had an issue. And hmm. I thank God for using his servants and daddy in the Lord to wipe away my tears hey. and not make me wrong man. So that was how that insanity, loss of memory, and your spirit almost leaving you as pastor minister, all those afflictions and crises disappear. Yes, sir. Clap on to God of the chosen. Clap on to God. Appreciate God. He is alive. God will choose it. Madness cannot stand pastor's ministration. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony goes thus. As if the devil, was, the devil wasn't tired after the 2006 to 2007 it came again with accident. I, in 2007, I actually had a bike accident. A bike, a bike man carried me, and then something happened, and we fell, and I, and we fell down. So I had a kind of dislocation at the interface where, where my rib and uh, my my rib and my spinal cord had. So my, I think my rib dislocated a little. Not just one, I think three, three different ribs dislocated from the spinal cord, small. Hmm. So the thing has been an issue. Because after the accident, I couldn't walk. I managed to stand up and then they did some massaging. I managed to walk and then went for physiotherapy. I've been in choosing for very long and I know the God of choosing answers prayer. Correct. But it hasn't crossed my mind. That this bone of 18, I should mention it to the God of choosing. So I've been enduring it. The normal thing is, every, every year, about two to three times, the, pain, the pains will come. I'll manage it. Sometimes I'll lie on the floor. My wife will step on me, match, up, match, up, match at that spot. And then I'll feel a bit better. So when I, the other time I travel to sites, but I'm a civil engineer. The time I traveled to site, the pains came severely. I had to tell my, my colleague. And then I, lie, I lay down on the floor. He stepped on me, and then I felt a bit better. But this thing has been, has been bothering me. So this, this miracle actually happened last year, Easter, like this. I came to church. It has okay. It hasn't crossed my mind to mention it to the God of Chosen, like I said. But that particular period during that Easter last year, the pain was there. It was so severe. I think Daddy actually asked us to write down that ten prayer requests or so. Yes. I finished writing the prayer request on a note, but I didn't mention that one. It didn't occur to me. Hmm. So after the ministration. The first day, and then the second day being a Sunday. After prayer, he said we should mention prayer, 10 prayer requests. I've already written that one, so I raised that one up. 
And I started praying, something occurred to me that this back pain, why don't you mention it? Okay, I just, why praying? I just mentioned it. Oh God of choosing, heal me of this back pain. Oh God of choosing, heal me of this back pain. And so, Pastor now prayed and then rounded up the prayer, declared that everything we said is done. Hmm. I claimed it, I said amen. Seven days after, seven days after, me on the, the next Sunday, we went to our autonomous church because then I was still at our region. At the bar branch. So we went to our our autonomous church. It was all like the pastor. Because normally what they do is what we usually do is um after the ministration, he will ask us to pray pray the prayer points. After the prayer points, he now he will now round up the prayer and then we we'll share the grace. But that day. But that day, after the administration, the only prayer point he asked us to make was all the hanging miracles that our G.O. declared in the previous Sunday, let it manifest. Hmm. All hanging miracles our G.O. declared the previous Sunday, let it manifest. And that was how we prayed. He didn't even round up the prayer. He just shared the grace. Hmm. And that was how we went. So when we got home, <coughs> Excuse me. When we got home, we actually okay. We, we ate rice with stew. <laughs> at the point, while I was still sitting after eating, at the point, I started feeling a hot, pepperish, not just hot, hot, pepperish sensation around this region, at my back here, my back here, just within, just like this. It was so severe, so hot and so peckish that I asked my wife if someone rubbed, took stew and then applied on those seats. She said no one did. I said, okay, no problem. We just stayed. After some time, I went to sleep. That afternoon, I went to sleep. When I woke up, the pain stopped. The, sorry, the sensation, the peckish sensation and the hot sensation stopped. Huh. Two hours later, it came again. That was why I began to sense this seems to this appears to be a miracle. I just left. After some time, for five minutes or one hour, that one just ceased. What I couldn't do before, around 7 p.m., something, something just, just um, I just felt like doing like this because before when I do like this, at a point, once the once there's a hook, I will stop. Hmm. As soon as I did like this, what I heard was crack, 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 crack. all the bones started adjusting itself. Hey! Until Power. today. Hey! 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 God don't choose to answer prayer. Till today, till today, no pain of any kind. Hey! Normally, I was supposed to give this testimony, but I decided to leave it. Because what I normally do is, I feel every two, every two, every year, at least two to three times, that pain will come and it will last like three weeks, sometimes one month. Hmm. So I decided to leave this testimony and then check it and said, Oh, this God has done it for me. Let his name be praised. And then share the testimony with the people of choosing. Choosing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God of chosen answers prayer. Oh, yeah, pray. He answers prayer. He answers. God of chosen answers prayer. Oh, prayer. He answers prayer. He clap unto this great God, the iron breaker, the God of the chosen, the glory of chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this very God for what he's done for me. I say, may his name be praised in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not qualified to pray for my Jew. But I'll just pray that this, this God that has called you will not put you to shame. Amen. I pray for more unction to function. Amen. 
In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover my daddy with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Christ. I cover every choosing one with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Christ. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Christ. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, you are a civil engineer. Yes. I, you are a civil engineer. Yes, sir. Because I heard you say you go to site because you say, just phrase the congregation. Yeah, I'm a civil engineer, sir. Th that means after that experience of loss of memory and insanity, you went on to graduate. Yes, sir. And you're a civil engineer. Yes, sir. Married. Isn't it? You are, mar you are married also. Yes, I'm married, sir. I'm doing very well. Yes, sir. Brethren, what you need to do is to be a choosing. When God does his work in choosing, it is perfect. You know, the side I came from, they say, after a madman has been healed, you will see, see signs of murmuring and signs of the, of the madness, but not in choosing. When the God of chosen heals, madness, whatever, the person will go on to graduate to become a civil engineer, to marry and begin to make successes. Clap unto God and I pray, clap unto God. You are here today. We want to assure you that you are in for something. My brother will rejoice with you. Great testimony is there. And uh, God will choose it. We still take you higher in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. It's time for us to give our first offering in today's program. Rise up now with your offering, your tithe, your seed of faith. Make your offering special. It's a special program. Yes. It's a special program. Giving two offerings in the Lord Jesus has stopped many years ago now, but only in pro Tomorrow, we pray, receive this offering, sanctify and multiply all the offerings of today by a billion. And return to your people, the worshippers and children all over the world, with mighty blessings, covenant of peace and blessing, and long life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Offering bags are going to be passed where you are. Dip your offerings into those bags and remain standing throughout the offering time. Remain standing. I want you to listen to this testimony that I ran into my notes. And when I was reading it, it had to do with miracle of last year, Easter crusade. I said, this is great. So that you know what you are into, Easter retreat, God's covenant of peace and blessing is so great. Listen to the testimony. A sister testified in June last year. She said she was ill, sick, collapsed. And her husband rushed her to the hospital. When they got to the hospital, the doctor scanned her and saw that her intestines, big intestine, small intestine, had sw twisted and swollen. And he told them operation is needed urgently. Otherwise, the intestine will also begin to decay, and that will be very terrible. She said immediately they put her in the room in the hospital there. And her husband went out to run around for the hospital. They told them it will be 650,000 naira. While she was in the hospital room, she was begging God or choosing. God of choosing intervene. God of choosing intervene. Suddenly she said she remembered that it was Easter crusade and her daddy will be on the pulpit. I'm quoting her words. He said she remembered that daddy will be on. And then she continued to pray. God of choosing intervene. Before she knew it, she slept. And then said something came and tapped her and said, Daddy is on the pulpit. She woke up, came down, managed to come down for him because she was in pain. And so they claim, amen, amen. He wasn't seeing anything. There was no television, no handset. He was just claiming, say, amen, 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 amen. Before she knew it, all the pains disappeared. And she said, she went to the toilet, and every pain disappeared. She started dancing in that room, dancing, dancing. The doctor said that something was going on. Opened the room, saw her dancing. I said, what happened? He said, God of choosing has hit me. Doctor said, how? Where? Okay, come, let us test again. 
and placed her again on scan and the intestine have loosed up. Everything clean. And she said, she started dancing again. Doctor said, which shot? She said, the Lord chose it. Doctor joined her in dancing. And talking about testimony, June last year, and I would love if that sister is around tomorrow. Come and give this testimony. I don't know why my eyes went to it. I think it's a great testimony. Announcing that God's covenant of peace and blessing is a great program. Clap on to God and appreciate it. Clap on to God. If you are still holding your offering, can you wave your hands so that it will reach you and collect the offering? Bow down your heads now and begin to thank God and appreciate him for the opportunity to be in this great program. Magnify the name of the Lord. Everlasting Father, the God of the chosen, we praise you. We magnify you. And thank you for the privileged opportunity to offer. Oh God, we pray. Magnify your people. As a pastor minister today, let the unusual miracles be released unto the world, unto the people, unto worshipers in choosing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shall we be seated? Please be seated. That testimony should be enough for you to know that we are in for a great deal with God today. And then advertise this program, tell people to come even tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Second to the last testifier for today. Second to the last testifier. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Anne Ozoma, reciting at number 14, Albert Pangroof. My branch is Shomolutu. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to render a song. Go ahead and sing to the Lord. Himelao. Imela o imela o imela imela o imela o dadi imela e dadi imeli imela e ezi imeli imela e ezi imeli imela e the God of Chuse imela onye ne me ma imela. The God of Mokai, Ime, 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 Lae, Ezi, Ime, Ime, Lae, Ime, Lae. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for my genuine salvation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of the chosen. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank this God of choosing for making me and my family a chosen. Thank you, God of chosen. While I'm here today, my brother, my sisters, I want to thank this God. This God of choosing who make impossibility to be possible. This God of choosing that trained my four kids in high institution out of nothing. God of choosing trained my children in high institution. Today, I have four graduates. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want to thank God once again because I make a vow to this God. My second daughter that graduates this year, that finished her service March, and God of chosen give her husband, and my daughter married and wedded. Thank you, Father. So today I come to fulfill my vow to this God of choosing because he did it for me and this God of choosing do a great thing even in my family and my husband's family. God of choosing did a great work that I myself am, I didn't even believe that God would do, would do it but I still believe this God of choosing because many things has happened. 
I know how we suffered, but today, God of choosing, I say, I tell this God of choosing that if he will do it and the marriage will be successful, and again, and God of choosing, if you will grant my daughter visa to travel with the husband, I will come here and thank this God of choosing. But today, my brother, my sister, I want to tell you that today, God of choosing, give my daughter visa. Today, my daughter and the husband are in UK. Power! Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say this God of choosing, who make it possible, make impossibility to be possible, and God of choosing did it. And today, I'm rejoicing. I say, God, may his name alone and alone be magnified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. For my Gio, I pray that this God who have called him, he will always be with him. My prayer for him day and night, that this God will keep on increasing in his anointing in daily basis in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for heaven at last for him and his entire household in Jesus' name. Amen. For all the choosing members, I and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Chosen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Rejoice with our sister. God of chosen answers. Prayers. I want to plead with all those people that are outside to come in now and sit because we are taking the last testifier for today and our pastor is coming to the pulpit. Those streams of heads that I'm seeing, please come into the tent of the meeting. Come into the tent of the meeting. I also want to advise brethren and worshipers in this program to remember that we still have materials like calendar, 2024 calendar, calendar of the year of dominion, victory, blessings and miracles, and also almanacs. We still have materials, aprons, books of our pastor. You need to always guide yourself with them. Have them, read them, so that you can benefit from the grace of God upon all the instruments of chosen. The last testifier for today. Chosen, praise thy Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Abokme Elijah. I'm from Bayasta State. I came from Bayasta State yesterday. I thank God for making me and my daughter a choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, for choosing. I joined choosing in 2011. I live in Bayasta State. I worship in Bayasta State. My house care is our branch. Choose me, praise thy Lord. Hallelujah. I came yesterday because of the testimony to give devil shape, to give glory to God of choosing in Jesus' name. Amen. My testimony goes like this. When I joined choosing 2011, 2012, the enemy afflicted me with issue of blood. Since that 2012, when I be a choosing, I saw myself, I think that is my prayer that is flowing, I don't know that is issue of blood. Starting from day by day, week by week, month by month, continue from year to year, since that time till last month when he came here from sorrow to joy. Thank you, Father. I don't know how to take down this God of choosing. Many in this Lagos know me. All the programs that is coming in this Lagos, when I join this choosing, I am coming here, all the program. Mm. Not unfailingly. Even women program, I was here. Even one day program, 
I was here, looking this God or shielding to help me to take away that affliction of the enemy. I thank this God of choosing. Sometime when I came here, I will run to this altar and make a vow to this God of choosing. But at last, on this last month, to Lord of Joyce, after everything, our daddy made a declaration of this affliction of issue of blood. I claim it how many times I stood in that place waiting for this God of choosing. After everything, I went home. As I went home, I didn't see anything again. I said, what? Ah, what is going on? Hmm. Abby, it's a joke. I don't know what to say. Hmm. I'm looking. The following day, I didn't see anything. I said, what? Hey. <laughs> I got a smile on my heart. Until that day till today, I never see anything. Clap on to this great God. He's alive. The God of the chosen. Thank you, Lord. I say, I know that this program is for everywhere. Even I myself, I just went, I go to a church on Thursday after everything because I'm a contact in my branch. I went to the pastor. I say, Pastor, not be annoyed to. Tomorrow I'm traveling. I say, ah, you know that you can't. I say, sir, please. I make a vow in Lagos. So I don't go there and fulfill my vow. Hmm. He said, wow. I didn't tell her anything. I said, please, just allow me to go. I cannot leave this place without telling you. That's why they tell you. Even my family, nobody knows about it. But I'm traveling. It's okay. She prayed with me. I love very well. Even when I'm coming, what are you doing again? Everything you are lost. What are you doing in that choosing? Come out for that choosing. It's not a good shot. I said, mommy, I said, my, you as my mother put me to bed. I can answer you other thing, but this one, I cannot answer you. I will be a choosing indeed. She picked her noise. It's okay. You can go and die in choosing. I said, I will not die. I left her. Even to today, even though he's coming here, he saw me, she will take on that road. My own mom. I don't care about it. I am continuing. All of them rejected me. All of them, all your family rejected me. Nobody even wants you to become somebody. But I have one daughter. When I was in the world, it's a love story. He told that girl that took up managing the business that I'm doing. Got small, small to use it to take care of myself. Coming to Lagos, I entered 2014 when everything I lost. I said, God, oh, I will also for all those years. I will die in this sickness. Then this girl who will take care of it. I enter the street, look for a land to buy, so that I will build a house, that I will register, I will put her name for everything. In my place, before I have something. But I will still have more, I know, at the work of the enemy. So that's how I buy a land in 2014, start the building. After the building, I put down, I roof it, I do everything finish. That's why I never the business to my daughter. Continue the business. If you die, I die. That building, I tell my lawyer, nobody will step to that place. If you the one that I built in my father's compound, I know that my brother can take it anytime because I'm a woman. If you the one in my mother's side, I don't know. But the shop that I built and this very new one, nobody will take it from you because I bought you to land. That's why I tell the girl. But today, <laughs> chosen people, different from others. Let's hear today, today. Oh, God has chosen. Yeah, Baba. Mm. You do what no man can do in my life. Mm. Today, when I have the mind that I will not have my property again, today, I will still use all my property back to me again. Father, I give all the glory. I give all the honor to this God has chosen. Mm. I vow in this altar. I'm here in my vow. I will fulfill my vow before I leave this place. Thank you. This is my testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. At this junction, I cannot say more because they give me just a minute to testify. At this junction, I pray for that is you, even at last, all the family, all the choosing pastor, all over the world, all the sister, even at last, I myself and my daughter, my family, even at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Reconfirm to us. 
That issue of blood, you said it lasted for how long? 12 years now. 12 years. And then the last program, From Sorrow to Joy. Yes, sir. That was February 10 and 11 this year. Yes, sir. God of Choosing cleared it away. Yes, sir. And now your sorrow has turned to joy. Yes, sir. Clap on to God. Or it clap on to God. Clap on to God. We don't know how many years your crisis or problems have lasted. But today, today, as our pastor ministers, you are going to jump into jubilation. And you will begin to receive congratulations. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't want our sister or any person to be bothered about people that are angry that you are a chosen. Ultimately, eventually, those people will come to bow before you. Yes, now you heard the testimony recently. A sister and a brother in Kano, I think it was Kano, and the, the relations and time people say, come out of choosing, come out of choosing. They refused. All of them rejected them in Kano. They even had a bed. The baby died. They say, you see, now, come out of choosing. They refused and continued in choosing. You know what God of choosing did? He packed all of them from Kano to the village. All the people that were threatening our brother and sister, all of them became poor and unable to succeed again in the city. All of them were rejected and thrown to the village. And before they knew it, our brother and the wife started prospering. Started and become so prosperous that they built a mansion in the village. Those people that God was choosing to change to the village became angry, envious, and said they would put the fence down. And then made the meeting with the chairman, even the chairman of the town in Lagos. And they, all of them said they will put the fence down. Our sister and brother said, God will choose it. We hand over the matter to you. You know what happened? A week to them for them to go and put the fence down. The chairman in Lagos died. As they were weeping and crying, what happened? Few days, the chairman in village that was also trying to put it also died. They went to bed and didn't wake up again. And today, our brother and sister are champions in that village. I want to beg you, don't bother about people that are saying, come out of choosing. Eventually, they will bow before you. Clap unto God and appreciate it. Clap unto God. Bow down your heads now and begin to appreciate this great and mighty God who are choosing you and me as his choice, as the elect of God. Magnify his name. For the testimonies we have had, we are hearing, and the testimonies that will come today, because you, even you, you are going to testify. Thank God and praise him for the covenant of peace and blessing. And begin to pray for the pastor of the chosen, the man that God has chosen to bring this covenant down to the world again. Pray that God will continue to help him, defend him, and advance him. I want you to continue to pray for pastor that God will continue to help him, defend him, advance him, and make him to take over the world for Jesus Christ. Pray that men and women, high and low, presidents, heads of state, ministers, people in positions or whatever, they will come to him to listen to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ from his mouth. Pray that God will continually advise, advertise him with his angel to stand before every human being to direct them to come to choose him. Pray for a pastor that everything he needs will be supplied to him in abundance and that he will continue to cruise in grace without struggle, even according to his ministry. That life is with us, not with struggle, but that everything is by the gift of God. Pray for him that all that concerns him will be treated first 
by God, even God of heaven, God of chosen. Continue to pray for our pastor. Pray that even today, as our pastor ministers, the heaven will open to all the worshipers in this program. And that indeed, the covenant of peace and blessings of God will be released afresh upon all the chosen people, upon the worshipers in chosen, upon all the nations and countries of the world. Pray for our pastor that as he ministers today, his ministration will enter all the locations of this program crusade all over the world. And everyone will enjoy covenant of peace and blessing. Continue to pray for our pastor that God will defend him everywhere in the dream, in the spirit, in the physical, that God will be his defender. Pray for the servant of God. Pray that God will multiply grace upon his life more than adequate for 10 billion souls. Continue to pray for our pastor. Pray for him that he will cruise with ease, without struggle, even today, tomorrow. All the programs that are lined up this year, that it will be with ease, without struggle. Pray also that all the resources that he needs to execute the programs of God will be supplied in abundance. You have heard that there are crusades everywhere, all over the world this year. In UK, in America, in Canada, in South Korea, Asian toy, many African countries and Europe. Pray that the resources, the finances that be used to travel, there's a good old project that God will supply them in abundance. Pray that today and tomorrow, greatest miracle ever since the session of the Lord choosing will happen today and tomorrow. Pray. Continue to pray for our pastor. Continue to pray for him. Pray for new strength, new energy. Pray that he'll be refreshed every moment. Make those prayers. That God will transform him and make him fit every moment for the great assignment that God has called him to in this world. Pray that as the minister today, everything will work for your good. Everyone coming to the meeting, a pastor will minister now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today, the Lord will bless you. And you will go home with testimonies. It is a special day indeed. And if you are in this place and you cannot walk, or maybe they carry you to this place to lay, or have lay or lump, or you brought somebody like that, or you're insane. It is your turn to testify. <laughs> so all those who cannot walk wherever you are. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Rise up now. Drop your crutches. Rise up your feet and walk. Or just look around you. Rise up. Yes, your man, rise up your head. Your head. Drop your crutches. Drop your walking stick. Wherever you are, you are healed. You are healed. You are healed. Yes, keep on coming in the front. In the front. Or just bring them out. All those who have stroke, you are healed. Those people who are paralyzed, you are healed. Those with broken bone, you are healed. Those people who have spinal cord injury, you are healed. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. 
yo ahi yo ahi yo ahi yo ahi yo ahi wherever you are use your body i cancel stroke i cancel paralysis i cancel every form of deformity be healed in jesus name now whoever you brought here shake that person he is free she is free she is free he is free we need to clap for jesus clap for jesus clap for jesus all the people that have not walk since you are born rise up and walk in jesus name Quickly, quickly, you are healed. You are healed. You are healed. Check whoever you brought here. Remember, you are the person very close to them. They do not know that they are free, except you speak to them and tell them to check up. If you have spinal cord injury, be healed. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. If you have stroke, you are healed. If you are paralyzed, you are healed. Check them, check them. They are free. They are free. They are free. I cancel stroke. I cancel paralysis. I cancel broken bone. Receive healing. Receive freedom. Receive your miracle. Be free in Jesus' name. Check them now. Every one of them totally free. Totally free. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, I cancel paralysis for you. I cancel stroke for you. I cancel blindness for you. I cancel death and dumb for you. I cancel paralysis for you. Regain your freedom in Jesus' name. All those that are deaf or dumb, I cancel it now. Wherever you are, you cannot walk, you cannot hear or speak. Receive your spirit. Receive your hearing in Jesus' name. I cancel death and dumb your head. 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 Can you test them now? Test them now. Every case of death and dumb, say one, two, three, four, papa, mama, all cases of death and dumb. I cancel it in Jesus' name. Spirit of death and dawn, I bind your cast abyss in Jesus' name. Be healed. Death and dawn, you are healed. Death and dawn, you are healed. Death and dawn, you are healed. Regain your freedom in Jesus' name. Or just check them now. If you brought any person deaf or long, that person is free. I'm waiting for you. Shake. You will see a miracle. Shake now. Shake now. Shake whoever you brought here. That person is free in Jesus' name. All cases of deaf and long. I cancel it in Jesus' name. Shake them and bring them out. Shake them and bring them out. All the people there or dumb, I cancel the pandom. I cancel the pandom. I cancel the pandom. The pandom be a heat. 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 Regain your freedom in Jesus' name. Shake them, shake them. They are free. They are free. They are free. They are free.
ushers, pastors, workers, shake around you. All cases of death and God, you are healed. All those who are never spoken from birth, I decide you, I declare you free. I lose you from death and know me in Jesus' name. Or just check around you. You will see a miracle. You will see a miracle. They found on you are healed. Where are the pastors? Where are the workers? Check them and say one, two, papa, mama. They found on I cancel it in Jesus' name. Shout amen to that prayer. If you brought any person there or not, please check that person now. Any person there or not, that person is free. That person is free. That person is free. I'm waiting for you. Help me shake all the people I was brought here, deaf and dumb, that totally free in Jesus' name. Shout amen again. Blindness, I cancel it. Stroke, I cancel it. Madness, I cancel it. Untimely death, I cancel it. High BP, heart problem, liver problem, I cancel it. I cancel stroke, be free in Jesus' name. Be free, be free, be free, be free. I cancel kidney problem, heart problem. I cancel all the poison, leg poison. I cancel madness, be free in Jesus' name. Be free, be free. Be free, or just check around you. I want to hear person there or not. Can you show us the person? If you brought any person there or not, please, can you show us the person? Or just go and check anywhere you see them, raising their hands up, shake off. That person is free. A person is free. Anybody. Blindness. A person is free. Madness. I cancel it. Get freedom in Jesus' name. I want to take testimonies as they are coming out. Come in the front. Come in the front and share your testimony. The first testifier. Pastor on the podium here. Is a great miracle of the God of choosing. Our brother have received healing for seven years, partial stroke, instantly healed after your prayer. Can you walk now? A big clap of praise to Jesus. A big clap of praise to Jesus. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. Move around, move around. The next testifier. Pastor, on the podium is his testimony of another two year stroke healed instantly after your prayer now. Clap offering for Jesus. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, another miracle. CCA stroke. A woman who couldn't walk. She started walking after your prayer. Amen. Look at her. Clap of faith for Jesus. We are Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. We are saved. Thank you, Lord. We are saved. Thank, Thank you, the God of 
chosen you are good the next testifier pastor another testimony of one month stroke instantly healed after your prayer now a big clap of faith to Jesus clap for Jesus clap for Jesus clap for Jesus the next testifier pastor another miracle here five months cancer of bone healed at the instant of your prayer now he can walk Jesus clap for Jesus clap for Jesus the next testifier pastor another three years affliction rolled away instantly after your prayer now a big clap of faith to Jesus clap for Jesus clap for Jesus pastor Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we are saying thank you. The God of choosing, you are good. That's the fire. Pastor, on the floor here, is two years stroke healed after your prayer. And our daddy can walk again. Oh, pray to Jesus. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, our brother said for two months he had a terrible heart pain. He could not breathe well. But after your prayer now, it left him and he became free. A big clap for pray to Jesus. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, our sister said since January, she couldn't walk. She's been suffering from severe pain. But Pastor, after your prayer now, I'm at your left hand side, sir. After your prayer now, she is walking without any pain. Can you so, walk now? Clap move. for Jesus. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. A big clap offering to Jesus. A big clap offering to Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, Pastor, one year stroke. After your prayer now, our brother is learning to walk again. After one year. A big clap offering to oh, yeah. Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor. On the podium here is a testimony of one year, six month stroke, healed instantly after your prayer. Clap now. for Jesus. A big clap of faith to Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor on the floor here, by your right hand side, Pastor, a man had received a healing of stroke for three months. At the instant of your prayer, he started walking. A big clap offering to Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. A big clap offering to Jesus. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. That is the testimony that is coming. Let's take it, let's take it. Carigo, 
That's a healing of madness. 15 years madness. To heal you. After your prayer. Carigo, carigo, God of choosing, carigo, 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 God of Amen. Are you going to sing? If you brought any person there or not, or blind, or paralyzed, that person is free in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell us what happened. Pastor, this is 15 years, violent madness, insanity loss. He couldn't recollect himself. But at the instant of your prayer, Pastor, the memory was restored, and the man now disappeared. And now he's Jesus, totally free. Papa Jesus, Papa Jesus, Papa Jesus. Amen. Let's hear. What is your name? Michael. My, Michael. What is your name? Michael, sir. My name is Michael. From where? From Akwaibo. Lord Jesus, only you can do this. Lord of Jesus, only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. Lord of Jesus, only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. Lord of Jesus, only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God of choosing, only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God of choosing, only you can do this. Hallelujah. God can do this. God of choosing, only you can do this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God of choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God of choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. If we clap our feet to Jesus. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, the God of choosing. You are good. We are saying. Thank you, Lord. We are praying. Thank you, Lord. We are saying. Thank you, the God of choosing. You are good. A big clap of faith to Jesus. Clap 
for Jesus. I want to let you know that every problem you brought here is cancelled. Today, you will go home with testimonies. And as many of you are tied by the enemy, and nothing was for you. And it has been ups and down, rising and falling. Put hand here, no way. Put hand here, no way. And you are here today, a day God has designed to renew the covenant with his people. Today, you must be free. Now, as I mentioned that case, that spirit must leave you. The spirit of rising and falling, spirit of poverty, spirit husband. Uh, come on, go get it. Catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire. Oh, just watch out. Stubborn spirit husband. Witchcraft spirit. Python spirit. Spirit of death. Spirit of backwardness. Spirit wife. Catch fire in Jesus' name. Catch fire. I torment to by fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Or just watch out. That spirit that will be following that young man to key you to make sure nothing works for you. Receive your deliverance. Bring that person out. Bring that person out, whatever it may be. Holy Ghost, bring that person out. Le Kataya Kahuri. Le Scandalia Kaprema Duvi. Le Skatene Marusia. Alusio. Holy Ghost, conduct thorough deliverance on him. And even that person who has been into marrying. Serpentine kingdom, python kingdom. I command deliverance, be free. Be free in Jesus' name. Who's, who's? Python kingdom. I've been tormenting you, opposing you. Let us be cash fire. Oh, just watch out. That person receiving deliverance now. Bring him out. Bring him out. Python kingdom, snake kingdom, uh, you snake, catch fire. Holy Ghost, spirit husband, spirit of barrenness, spirit of confusion in marriage, catch fire, come out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost Familiar Spirit Spirit of course Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire Wherever they have locked this soul Wherever they tie you Wherever they tie your soul I cannot make progress in life. As I count seven, I command you be loosed. And every soul in prison be loosed. All those that are bound be loosed. 
วัดทูลุสโอ้ยก็สิ่งนั้นเป็นสิ่งที่เราต้องทำเราต้องทำเราต้องทำเราต้องทำเราต้องทำเราต้องทำเราเดลิเวอร์สทอร์ทอร์ทอร์ทอร์ I bind you Queen of Coast Queen of Heaven Catch fire I cast t h a v i s in Jesus name My m i w e t a spirit ancestral spirit serpentine spirit I bind you I bind you I cast t h a v i s in Jesus name Holy Ghost, lose that woman now. All that thing moving in your body, catch fire, catch fire. You snake, catch fire. You s n e e husband, catch fire. I command deliverance for you. I command freedom for you. We give you freedom in Jesus' name. I bind you witchcraft spirit. I bind you familiar spirit. I bind you unclean spirit. I bind you s a p e n t i e spirit. I bind you spirit of husband. I bind you cast a b y s in Jesus name. Holy Ghost. Watch out! Watch out! You see deliverance going on, deliverance going on, deliverance going on. I lose you. I command freedom for you. I command deliverance for you. I call for intervention for you. We give you freedom in Jesus' name. I cancel that high b b b h e a d I cancel that stomach ulcer b e h e a d I cancel West Bend be healed. That moving object I want to disappear in Jesus' name. And I pray and cancel that cause in your life in Jesus' name. That spirit of fear I bind you. I cast that is in Jesus' name. Spirit of barrenness. Spirit of untimely death. Spirit of poverty. Marine spirits, I bind the c a s t a b i s in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, I cancel that stroke. I cancel that heart attack. I discharge you free in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, be free, be free, be free. I command that bleeding to cease. That terrible headache be cancelled, be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for you. All those evil dreams, I cancel it. I decree that shall never come to manifestation in Jesus' name. That person going through terrible spiritual battle. Oh yeah, Holy Ghost, fight, fight for that person, fight, fight. Give that person victory, victory. Fight. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Defeat that kingdom, destroy that. You that you kingdom that came for attack for assignment, you demon assignment, catch fire. You demon have come to hinder somebody's miracle, catch fire. Arrest you, 
you all thoughts for you marries for you wish us for God to come out in Jesus name holy grace wherever you are fighting from in the astral world in the second heaven in the river in the ocean anywhere you are fighting from let it bless catch fire holy ghost stop and thy kingdom catch fire antichrist kingdom catch fire python kingdom catch fire snake kingdom catch fire which is a wizard kingdom catch fire holy ghost the holy ghost deliver me this person that came here on a special assignment to hinder miracle arrest that person arrest that spirit I deliver that person in Jesus name holy ghost Catch fire now and die quickly. Catch fire, catch fire. Let that demon catch fire and die in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Shout that Holy Ghost fire seven times. Come out and enter fire. Precious daddy. As I speak, take over me. Speak, take over me. Renew the covenant you have with your people. And bring many in the covenant afresh. Bless them one by one. Bless them one by one. I pray and decree. And no one that came to this service will go back the same. I cancel that low BP. I cancel that uh, affliction, that wicked. May so to be very weak. We eat in Jesus' name. Receive brand new kidney, brand new heart, brand new liver. Be healed in Jesus' name. Let the, that terrible affliction of sugar problem be healed. That I, I cancel on timely death for everyone in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, deliver me this young man. I'm waiting for you. Quickly. Deliver him. You will never die a day before you are dead. Lord, give me sign. Give me sign. Whatever that person may be, Lord, I command your power. Your power. Your power. Oh, yeah. Work on him. Work on him. Let can gently compress the condo. Let that catch fire in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Or just watch out. That person is getting your freedom now and not tomorrow. My daddy. Deliver him. Kahuria. Let's cut tire Marusia. I command freedom, deliverance, intervention. We gave you our freedom in Jesus' name. As I speak your word now, bless every soul. Touch them one by one. I ask the Holy Ghost to take over. In Jesus' name. Powerful name we pray. 
Shall we get seated? Shall we get seated? Covenant of peace and blessing. Covenant of peace. Covenant of blessing. Covenant of peace and blessing. Covenant of peace over everyone. Choosing ones. Praise the Lord. And this covenant was from the beginning. And this covenant was made even before we are born. From Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which expanded to us. Through Jesus Christ. And all I want you to understand in today's program is that many people have been talking about the covenant. But I want to take you an aspect that you, after this program, to be a blessing to the whole world. I want you to understand at this very time over 2,000 years ago, our Lord Jesus Christ died for the whole world in order to bring us into that covenant. Praise the Lord. But unfortunately, so many people are out of that covenant because they have not accepted Jesus Christ. And so many people are also, even though they're in the covenant, but because of sin, have not been enjoying the covenant. Today, I'm not going to talk about the cross because cross is in the past tense. Are you hearing me? Christ is no longer on the cross. I'm going to do where? On what matters a lot. What that covenant and that thing which took place in 2,000 years has brought to humanity and how we can get into it. That's what I'm looking at. And that will help you to understand as I go on the covenant, peace, and blessings, and long life. Therefore, I'm going to look at John chapter 1, verse 12. John chapter 1, reading verse 12. John chapter 1, look at your Bible from verse 12. And he trees John's Gospel, chapter 1, and from verse 12. He trees from verse 12, but as many as received him, to them gave he power 
to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. In John chapter 10, verse 10. John's gospel chapter 10. I read verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. From these chapters and verses, I'm bringing to you our team, God's covenant of peace and blessings. And I'm looking on the topic, the power of abundance or blessings. We're looking at part one, the power of abundance or blessings. You need to pay attention because when you understand what I'm going to talk about, you'll automatically see, automatically see how we enter into the covenant and how we enjoy abundance of blessings in the covenant. So, I'm looking at the power of abundance of blessing part one. Many wish to have abundance of life or blessings. And as a result, such people are doing everything humanly possible to have things, to have things in abundance they want to have abundance of blessings. They want to have abundance of all things, of riches. But you need to pay attention. It is not by power, not by might. Are you hearing me? So stop disturbing yourself. Because of our own selves, we can do nothing. No wonder such people that I'm talking about, in a day like this, they will go to the place of business and they say, well, I'm going to be there on Sunday because I want to struggle to have abundance of blessings, to have blessings. I want to have riches. I want to have money. I want to have this or that. And so they isolate God. They turn their back from God. And then they confine the relationship with God for only Sunday, Sunday, um, you know, fellowship or Sunday, Sunday worship. If you are like that, then you are making a lot of mistake. My Bible tells me in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 9, it says, by strength shall no man prevail. And it tells me in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, it is not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And so, I want you to understand, so many people are victims of struggling to make it. They have done many things, and yet have nothing to show for it. They are still suffering, they are still in lack, that's still struggling. Are you like that? And many of them are full of suffering, full of lack, almost in every area of life. All such people should know that God has given us the power of abundance through who? Jesus Christ. No wonder in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, he said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and of all the power of enemies and not of our enemies hurt you. And if you look at the Bible, in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 17, Deuteronomy chapter 8, I read verse 17. Please open your Bible. Let's read Deuteronomy chapter 8. 
and verse 17. I read chapter 8 of Deuteronomy and verse 17. If thou shalt say in thy heart, these nations are more than, than I, how can I dispose them? Look at verse 18. Thou shalt not be afraid of them, but shalt well remember what the Lord thy God, please praise the Lord. Uh, let's take verse chapter 8 instead. And verse 17, chapter 8 of Deuteronomy and verse 17. And it says, And thou shalt say in thy heart, my power and the might of my hand had gotten me this wet. Verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wet. And that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. So you can see it is not by your power, it's God that giveth power to make wealth. And in fact, it's God that gives power for abundance of blessings. We need to pay attention. So, God has given us the power, as many of us that are born again. In John chapter 1, verse 12. John chapter 1, verse 12. John chapter 1, verse 12. And I read, look at the Bible. Chapter 1, and verse 12. But as many as received him, what happened? To them gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. And so we have the power. Can I hear you say amen? amen? I say, take note. We have the power of what? Abundance of blessings. In your life, in the life of all the believers. If you look at the book of uh, uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. 1 John chapter 4. I read verse 4. Please open your Bible. Let's read. 1 John chapter 4. Reading verse 4, and it reads, First John chapter 4, from verse 4, and it reads, verse 4, Ye are of God, little children, and overcome them, because great is he that is in you, than he that is in the world. Great is who? He that is in you than he that is in the world. No wonder. All the apostles and the rest of the apostles, they were a blessing. They were a blessing to humanity. And yet, you don't see anything in their hands. But they were a blessing to what? humanity because they have the power are you hearing me and I want to let you know we have the power if you look at your Bible in 2nd Corinthians chapter 6 and read verse 10 if you don't have that power before I finish this program today and tomorrow that power will follow you home Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 6. I read verse 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Reading verse 10. And it reads verse 10 of 2 Corinthians. As sorrowful, what the apostle is talking. As sorrowful, 
What happened? Yet always rejoice as poor, yet making many rich. As have as having nothing, what happened? And yet possesses all things. Because they have received the power. Because they have received the covenant promise through that power. The covenant promises of blessings has come upon them through that power that make them to be a blessing to humanity. Can I hear you say amen? You see, as I'm standing here now, whether I have anything in my hand or not, as I bless you, you'll be blessed. Are you hearing me? Because I have that power. And that's why I brought you here in this program that I also will extend that power to you. That from today and tomorrow, you will demonstrate the power. You will bless your family, you will bless the people around. In fact, you shall be a blessing to humanity in Jesus' name. As poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing, but possesses how many things? All things. People of God, Christ has died for me and for you at the cross of Calvary. And he said it is finished. And the Bible says he was made rich that we might be what? We might, was made poor that we might be what? That we might be rich. Now listen to me. I'm not here now to talk about the cross. But I'm going to talk about what God gave to us through the cross of Calvary. Praise the Lord. That blessing will follow you. How many of you believe it? <laughs> he was made poor. I, I didn't hear you. Let's put it on him. Uh, as poor. Jesus was as a poor man at the cross of Calvary. And yet do you what? Making many rich. And the offspring of Jesus Christ, like me and the apostles and you, I'm assured as poor, yet making many rich. He see you in this program today, tomorrow, I will make you rich. <laughs> Somebody will ask him, where is the money now? What are you going to give me? My friend, I have something inside me. Do you know that uh, Peter said, As liver and good have I not, but such as I have, give I you. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and what? What happened to the man? He rose up. As I speak to you today, God will give you what money cannot buy. Do you believe it? As poor? I'm not hearing you again. As having nothing, yet possessing all things. That is who we are. You and me. Because God has made it possible through who? I didn't hear you very well. Jesus Christ. So in this message, which I consider the influence of Hades, one, abundance of blessings explained, and the source, two, our response, our expected response, and the result. Let's go to point number one, abundance of blessings explained, and the source. Many are looking for abundance of blessings but do not really know what it is all about. For such people, when one has things in a, in a great or large quantity, the carnal people, carnally minded people, they will begin to say that such has things, such person has things in what? 
in abundance because it has money, it has many things in a large quantity. No, you need to pay attention. Praise the Lord. Such people may be saying the truth to some extent. What I meant by that is their truth is well in the ordinary, uh, carnal minded, in the carnal physical way. They can say they have something in abundance ordinarily because of what they are seeing. But that is not having things in abundance. And I'm talking about that is not even abundance that Jesus is talking about. Praise the Lord. Therefore, they say such people have things in abundance, but that is not true. Yet, you should understand abundance of blessing can only be described how? Through spiritual angle. Through spiritual angle. Leave the carnal one or physical one you can see. Let us talk about spiritual, you know, spiritual angle of abundance of blessing. Jesus said, I come that they might have life. I have it what? Did he give you anything physically? Somebody should answer me. So he's talking about spiritual aspect of it. Not what people are saying. Praise the Lord. Look at your Bible. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1. I read Ephesians chapter 1. Please open your Bible. Let's read from verse 3. You can see what I meant by spiritual angle. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with all what? All spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So you can see. All abundance of blessing I'm talking about is the one is spiritual and the all in all things. And so I'm not talking about those carnal minded people aware of abundance. But I'm talking about abundance that matters. Spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. So I want you to take note. Abundance of blessings is not that which people are seeing with their eyes, but that which is not seen with physical eyes. So take note. Many people in this world have, because of trying to you know, claim abundance or have abundance, they have many things in abundance. Yet, Whatever they have without our Lord Jesus Christ is regarded as what? Nothing. As what? Without Jesus, no matter if you are the owner of the whole Nigeria, you have nothing. The whole Africa, you have nothing. The whole world, you have nothing. So if you are you know, wasting your time struggling to get the whole world in order to have abundance, my friend, without Jesus, you have nothing. In Mark chapter 8, verse 36, let's see. Mark chapter 8, and from verse 36, look at your Bible. Chapter 8, Mark chapter 8. I read verse 36, and it says, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And what shall a man give in exchange of his soul? I can answer nothing. Are you hearing me? If you gain the whole world without being born again, without being a child of God, you are a poor man. You have nothing. All what you have is a war to hair fire. Are you hearing me? That is firewood, firewood. You are busy gathering firewood all your lifetime that will burn you in hair fire from eternity to eternity. So Jesus did say 
And we can read it. I want you to understand. Jesus knew what he was talking about. And he said, what shall he profit a man? Why? In John chapter 5 and 15, from verse 5. Let's do verse 5. John chapter 15, verse 5. I read. John chapter 15. Read it, verse 5. Look at it. And it reads, chapter 15, verse 5. I am the vine, he are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Whatever you have in isolation from him is what? Nothing. Vanity of vanity. All is vanity. Anything you have outside him, you have without being born again, is war. Nothing. It will blind you, it will tie you, it will hinder you from making heaven at last. Things you have gotten without him. That goes a long way to explain the real abundance of world blessings. It can be best described with one who has received who? Our Lord Jesus Christ as his or her personal Savior. As his or her Lord and personal Savior. One that is born again. That person has things in the world. I'm not hearing you again. It has abundance of blessing. Look at your Bible. In in the book of John chapter 10 and verse 10b. John chapter 10 verse 10b. Please look at it. Chapter 10 verse 10b. It says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I come, I come that they might have, life, have it more abundantly. Who is talking? Jesus Christ. He has come to the earth with what? Abundant of blessings. Not why many, no wonder many people are singing this song. Abundant life, abundant life is for me and for you. We will take it. Now. Abundant. Some people are also singing, um, you know, abundant life, abundant life, abundant life. Jesus gave to me, hallelujah. Oh, yes. Amen. Abundant life. Jesus gave to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yes. Jesus gave to me one more time. Amen. Oh, yes. So, true abundance of life comes from who? Jesus Christ. So, whatever they are claiming and calling abundance is nothing. The people that do not have Jesus Christ calling the things of this world abundance of blessing, that is vanity. It is equal to nothing. But Jesus Christ gave us the real abundance of life. No wonder if you look at the Bible, it says, I come that they might have life, I have it all. More abundantly. Now look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 21. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21. And it reads, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 21. And it reads, Therefore, let no man glory in man, for all things are yours. All means from A to Z. 
all things spiritual, all things material, all things physical, all things are yours. All things financial. Look at the Bible in verse 22. Whether Paul or Polos or Cephas or the world or life or dead or things present or things to come, all are yours. And you are what? Christ. And Christ is God's. So, because you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God, who owns heaven and earth. As long as you, are, you belong, all things are, I'm not hearing you, all things are ours. And that is a real abundance of blessings. And if one is a child of God, under the shepherdhood of the Lord, you will never be in want of anything. Psalm 23 verse 1 says, The Lord is my shepherd. What happened? I shall not want. He see you. As you receive abundance through Jesus, you will never suffer lack. You will never be in want of anything. I'm assuring you, whenever you need anything, just talk to him. He will give it to you. Can I hear you say, Amen? So, get ready. Once we have him, we have abundance of war. Blessing. Which meant for our covenant of peace and blessings. A long life. Covenant of peace, blessings, and long life. Do you know, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, what did the Bible say? But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. In that you see um, abundance of blessings, peace, long life. Every blessings of the Lord come into all your needs. Which God will supply you today, tomorrow. God will supply it. How many things? All your needs. He said in John chapter 10, verse 10, I come to them, I have life, I have it all. Now, in that abundance of life, do we have blessings? Do we have peace? Do we have long life? Are they in that abundance of life that Jesus gave us? That is the real abundance. All things are embedded into it. If you look at your Bible, in the book of Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, I read Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, and the Bible said, I just want you to understand, our blessings have been promised to us, and that blessing is the covenant we have with God through our father of faith, Abraham. Chapter 12, verse 1. I read Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Now, the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out from thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. And thou shalt be what? A blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and cause them that cause thee. And in thee shall all the families of it be blessed. That is a covenant with our father of faith. God has made a promise, and that promise expands to me, to you, and to all the families of it through who? Jesus Christ. So, if you are talking about abundance of life, I want to let you know blessings is there and it is ours. It comes to us through who? In Galatians chapter 3, verse 14. Galatians chapter 3, I read verse 14. Look at your Bible. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 14. And it reads, verse 14, and I read, that the blessings of Abraham might come unto the Gentiles through who? Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. And so, these blessings that God promised Abraham came to us through who? 
Jesus Christ. So we have covenant of war. Blessings, blessings through Jesus Christ. If you look at John chapter 11, verse 23, we have covenant of life everlasting through who? Jesus Christ. In John chapter 11, let's read this place and see the promise of the Lord unto us that are believers. Chapter 11, verse 23. And I read. That's the promise. That's the covenant between us and him. It says, Pastor, Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? In Christ we live forever. Long life. I want to let you know you shall live long. You shall not die. You shall fulfill your years. You shall live forever in his kingdom above in Jesus' name. That's the promise. He said, if you believe in me, you will not die. Can he lie? No, not at all. Those that believe in him, they live forever in eternity. And if they drop their body, on the day of resurrection, they shall rise up again. Say amen to that. Now, look at this place in the Bible. I want to let you know we have that covenant of peace, long life. In John chapter 14, verse 27, John chapter 14, I read verse 27. Please open your Bible. Let's read John chapter 14 and verse 27. I read, The peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth it, Give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be, ter be afraid. He said, I give you all peace. That's the promise. That's the covenant with us. And I want to let you know, as you, are, you know, give your life to Jesus, a Christian, you shall have peace. <laughs> not crisis. Jesus has made the covenant with the choosing. I'm assuring you, Peace, unspeakable, shall be yours in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Jesus did make us understand. When he rose from the grave, he was just proclaiming peace, peace, peace unto his people. And I want to let you know, children of God, peace be with you. Do you hear me? I say instead of crisis or trouble, peace be with you. That is the language of resurrection. Peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. In chapter 20, John chapter 20, I read John chapter 20 and verse 19. Look at your Bible. Chapter 20, verse 19 of John. Chapter 20, verse 19. The assurance I'm giving to you it's blessings, long life, peace shall be your portion. Chapter 20, verse 19. There, look at it. The same day that at evening, being the first day of the week, when the door were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, What? Peace be unto you. And I say to you that is here, Peace be to you. Yeah. Now, look at verse 20. Look at your Bible again. In verse 21. I mean, chapter 21, verse 26. Chapter 21. In fact, before we go to chapter 21, let's see. Look at chapter 20, verse 26. I read, it said, chapter 20, verse 26. 
after eight days again, his disciples were, with, were within and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Look at verse 21, chapter 20, verse 21. And he said, Then said, then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my father has sent me, even so sent I you. The point is, he was proclaiming peace, peace, peace to the disciples to, you know, to ensure the certainty of that covenant of war, peace. I want to let you know, peace will follow us throughout our life. Tribulation and crisis shall never be our portion. And therefore, I say today, tomorrow, peace be unto you. He see you. This covenant must manifest in your life. Covenant of peace and blessings and long life in Jesus' name. That shall be your portion. The Lord has brought it and we must enjoy that covenant. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 again. Let's see it. Spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Look at it. Chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us in Bless us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly blessings in Christ. All spiritual blessings in heavenly blessings come to us through Jesus Christ. That is what we call abundance of world blessings. Look at verse 4. This blessing was not meant to us even today, even from, but from the beginning of the world. This blessing was made to the whole, the people of God. And therefore, we have come to renew it. As we mention it today, it comes alive. Are you hearing me? And those who have not received it, they shall receive it. Chapter 1, verse 4. I read, according as he had chosen us in him, when? Before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Now listen to me. He has chosen us before the foundation of the world. And he has chosen us to be holy. And if you are not holy and you are born again, no wonder that you are having a lot of difficulty in possessing your possession. And if you are not yet a child of God, you are not a choosing, no wonder that blessing is far from you. You pray and pray and struggle, nothing happens. But after today, as we renew this covenant, as you come into this covenant, I'm assuring you, your desires shall be granted. These blessings are yours. Spiritually, physically, materially, financially, they are yours in Jesus' name. All things are yours. And so, take note. This is that covenant. No, no, no wonder the Bible said, what we read before, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3, where it said, therefore let no man glory in men. What happened? All things are yours. Choosing people, you are in a covenant with the Lord. Covenant of peace, blessings, long life, shall be fulfilled in your life. Can I hear you say amen? Yeah. And it will follow you throughout your life and you shall be a blessing to humanity in Jesus' name. Yeah. So, where is the source of this abundance of blessings? It is only from God. Are you hearing me? The source of abundance of blessings is from who? In John chapter 3 verse 16, what did the Bible say? For God so loved the world, I gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed it should not perish but have everlasting life. The source is from who? From God. From God. Now, look at it again. In the book of 
you know, Romans chapter 8, verse 31. Please open your Bible and read. This God is the source. And because God is the source, and we're before him today and tomorrow, something will happen. I am very, very sure. Romans chapter 8 and verse 31. And it reads, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, sister, answer me. Who can be against us? Now, what are we going to lack? Look at verse 32. Look at verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but deliver him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us how many things? All things. You see, I want you to understand this fact. If Jesus, if God did not withhold Jesus Christ, he can never withhold anything from us. He will give us all things freely. I don't know what you're looking for. All things are yours. All things are yours. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. He see you. Beginning from this program, you shall never be in want of anything anymore. Somebody may be asking me how, why. The Bible said, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make us free. Now listen to the, this point. If your father, your biological father, wrote a will and died, and gave it a solicitor of a legal practitioner, and you don't know the content of that will, you may be suffering more than any human being. You can even be a beggar. But for the very day, the solicitor, the lawyer called you and said, Come, oh, your father wrote a will. I want to read it for you and for your family. That very day, all of you should come. And he said, um, Even though you are poor and wretched and have not, no money, he said, But your father said he has a state of, of uh, you know, over 50 buildings there. That is your portion. And he said, there is a, a bank where you deposited one billion. That is your own. From that day, your head will swell up. From that day, your life will laugh like a big man. If you are laughing, you will not laugh anyhow. You will laugh economically. <laughs> are you hearing me? As what? A big man because of what? The will have been read to you. And now the will have been read to you. You will just behave like a big man. Uh, you tell the solicitor, now, eh, I want you to help me do this or that. If you call your servant that day, he see you today. As I read the will of your father today, today, you will possess your possession. You will be healed. You will be delivered. You will be blessed. You will protect. Because you shall know the truth. I'm not hearing you again. <laughs> Listen to me. My Bible tells me those that do know their God, those that do know their possession, they shall be strong and do exploit. Now, listen to me. All of you that are here today, newcomers and old comers, as you obey my voice and hear the will and claim the covenant of peace and blessings and long life, it shall be yours in Jesus' name. <laughs> you don't believe it? You know, are you believing me? Well, whether you believe or not, I know that some people's mind have been bound in the spirit realm. What they do is, a message will be going on, their mind will be going to negative visit. Their mind will be going to nonsense. Are you like that? They have bound you spiritually. I lose you in Jesus' name. Those that do know their God, he see you from today. You will claim your inheritance. You will possess your possession. You will possess your possession. If you believe me, say amen. As you are claiming this miracle, don't look at the person by your side. Because that person may have been here for assignment. Maybe say from one kingdom, one church, one place, and say, Come and monitor what they are doing. Therefore, if you're excited, you'll be angry. Be excited. 
let them be angry. Be excited. Let them be angry. So, amen. Look around you. Tell the person by your side, be angry. I'm excited. I will possess my possession. I will possess my possession. I will possess my possession. You are faster in reading the wheel. And if you are faster in reading the wheel, is it not the thing of joy? Why not balance and now begin to laugh like a big man? <laughs> laughing like a big man <laughs> he see you today you will go home with blessings you will possess your possessions what belongs to you you can no longer allow it in the hand of the enemy. You will take it home. Covenant of peace and blood. Mm -hmm. Oh, covenant of peace. Oh, covenant of blessing. Covenant of peace and blessing. Oh, covenant. Over my people, mm. peace, covenant of peace, covenant of peace, covenant of peace, and bless. How about the chosen ones? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Covenant of peace and blessing. It comes from who? John chapter 1 verse 12. John chapter 1, reading verse 12, and I read. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. As many as receive who? They receive power of abundance. Power of abundance. It comes from God. Today, it will follow you. Home. That takes me to point number two. Our expected response and the result. Whoever wants to have things in abundance or have abundance of blessings should quickly abandon all things you, had, you think you have or you had in isolation from God. Those things you had without the Lord, they are, those things are deception. Those things are counterfeit. Look away from them. Turn your back from them and follow the Lord and give your life to Jesus Christ. You will receive real abundance of blessings. You will come into the covenant of peace and blessings and the long life in Jesus' name. Don't forget. What shall it profit a man? If you gain the whole world and lose your soul. So what is it that you have into and you are struggling in isolation from this great God? You want to make it by your power? Or you think you have made it by your power? My friend, it will be in exchange of your soul. I pray it shall never be your portion. Can somebody say amen? So, 
let us forsake turn about from those things and receive Jesus as our Lord, as our personal Savior. And they follow him all the days of our lives. And I'm assuring you, abundance of blessing will be upon you. In Mark chapter 10, I read verse 28. Mark chapter 10. Look at your Bible, chapter 10, reading verse 28. Mark chapter 10 and verse 28. Then Peter began to say unto him, Look, we have left all and have followed thee. Can you imagine? How many things? Please look at it very well. Paul, Peter, an apostle. He said, We have left how many things? Please look at that place very well. Peter said, We have left all and followed thee. That's the way to enter abundance of blessings. Now, let's hear what Jesus replied. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospel. But he shall receive what? Hundredfold now in this time, in this life. Houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution. And in the world to come, what followed? Eternal life. As you follow the Lord, he will give you original blessings. Those counterfeit that was meant to send their soul to hell, I am assuring you, he will deliver you from them. He will give you everything you are left to follow hundredfold. I want to let you know, all of you that shall make up your mind to serve the Lord without allowing all those things that, that you are, you know, that you are evil way, that you are, you know, crooked way of making things by fraud, by fraud, by stealing, by lies, by evil. And, you know, you turn your back from those things. The Lord will give you original thing. Somebody say amen. The Lord will give you something that is, you know, precious and pure. And in fact, hundred. I didn't hear you very well. How many fold? You can never regret following this God. Because I have never seen somebody that is following you with all your heart, with all your being, according to his will. I have never seen such person regret since I have known the Lord. I have never seen such people regret it and say, well, this is the Lord, Lord, the Lord did to me. Rather, I see them rejoicing from beginning to the end. He see you. You will never regret. You will rather rejoice. And you will receive original things. What do I call it? Original things. That is adulterated, counterfeit, polluted, and dirty. It's not your portion. Say amen to it. So, from today, something precious will come your way. I'm not hearing you. Let me take you to the book of covenant of that God entered with chosen people. Isaiah chapter 60. That should be, should have been tomorrow. But well, let's read it a little so you know what belongs to you. So that from today, you will never struggle. Choosing people. Struggling is not for you. But you will take what belongs to you. Chapter 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, 
The darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. And his glory shall be seen upon me. Please. This one, I want to claim it because the Lord gave it to me. His glory shall be seen upon me. But if you can enter, enter. If you want to renew, renew. Now, look at verse, verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. And kings, priests, and governors shall come to the brightness of thy rising. <laughs> Is it true? Yeah. My friend, this was given to me in 19, about 1997. And uh, that time, the Lord Jesus was not born. Because it was born in 2002. Am I right? Yeah. But this word is being fulfilled in my life. Kings and president and governors are coming to my light. And I'm being frank to you. I'm being frank to you. And you, 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 kings and president and governors and leech which are come to you. Is it an evil thing? Will you be a beggar with such covenant? God forbid. Now let's enter the covenant. Are you entering? <laughs> let's enter. Let's enter. I, I'm, I, I'm entering the covenant again. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. In verse 4. Lift up thy eyes round about and see. Oh, they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from far. And thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. My friend, is it fulfilled in my life? All over the world. All over the world. And people are coming, uh, people come from America and said, the God showed them, if you want to go to heaven, go to Chosen. People come from Belgium, people come from uh, uh, you know, Congo, people come from many countries of the world and said, God told them, if you want to go to heaven, go to Chosen. And they're coming. And many of them that have uh, churches, 25 branches, 6 branches, 10 branches, who said, I hand them over to Chosen. All over the world. My friend, yes, now uh, you can, all of you that I'm here, you know what I'm talking about. People handing their churches, they're handing everything over to us because this covenant must be what? For feed. You see, somebody called, told us last week that uh, over there in Angola, that some churches that have over 400 members said, with all whatever they have, We'll hand it over to choose. Praise the Lord. We'll hand them over to choose. Now, listen to me. This is the covenant. And I am standing by this covenant, and it will be fulfilled. If you believe it, say amen. Now, we have entered the covenant, and it will be fulfilled. Look at that place as we are reading in verse 5. Then shall that see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto the, the forces of the Gentiles, the riches of the Gentiles shall come to me. I don't know about you. It shall come. The leeches of Gentiles shall come to me. I don't know about you. It's see you. Leeches of Gentiles shall come to you. We shall possess a possession in Jesus' name. Look at that place we are reading. I said we will read it today. Tomorrow we still read it because we are renewing, we are entering the covenant afresh. In verse 6, the multitude of camels. If you look at that vehicle there and all the places, you see camel. Multitude of what? 
more to the fall. Some time ago, when we go to publicity with 70 vehicles, everybody launches and launches. They say, ah, what is this? Is the fulfillment of the prophecy, of the, of the covenant. Can I hear you say amen? So there is no point on you saying, what is this? What is this? My friend, God has said it, multitude of war. Yes. At that time, the motor vehicle that had this war, came. Kame. And it said, more to the Kame. My friend, listen to me. He see you. You will never struggle for a car. <laughs> if it's a sin, continue to walk with your leg. If it is evil, then the promise of God shall be fulfilled in your life and you're angry. But never you see a car itself. I pray everybody here, not for you, all of you, you must be away with you. You will ride car, you will buy car, you will use car, it shall be well for you in Jesus' name. I can see that you are happy because you have seen what belongs to you. Christ did not obtain punishment at the cross. Rather, Christ suffered for me and for you that we might have life in war, abundance. Spiritually, physically, materially, financially, academically, you shall be a blessing to your generation. If you believe it, say amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Born and like Jesus gave to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say amen to that. Now, let's see. I want to let you know. You see this scripture, I didn't I didn't print it and said, it's a covenant I have with God. But in a revelation, as I went on a night vigil and slept a little, this scripture was put before my face. And I started to read it and read it. And it said, this is what I promise I made for you. I had it in my mind. And this one, God has already told me before, I want to use you, I want to call you, I will say, but who am I? I don't want to, I don't, what is, who am I? To answer the call of God and to leave everything I'm doing, who am I? And before you know it, he brought this scripture to confirm it. He said, look at it, read it. When I read it, I said, oh, the same thing he told me physically, they are telling me the scripture. So this is no longer man made, this is divine. This is God. Are you hearing me? Therefore, let's enter the covenant. What do I say? And choosing people. Let us renew the covenant. Do you know the Bible said that we are choosing before the world was what? Before the world was created, foundation 
of the world. This blessing has been there for me and for you. He see you. You will not continue to struggle. You will not continue to suffer. God will give you revelations, visions, inspirations, convictions, understanding, power. You each are possess a possession in Jesus' name. Now, look at this place. Look at your Bible. And I read, more to the camels that cover thee. The dromedresses of Midian and Epha and all they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense. They shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Keda shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Naboth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on my altar. And I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these? That fly as clouds, as those that are windows. Surely the eyes shall wait for thee, and the sheep of touch it first to bring thy son from far, their sliver and their goat with them unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he has glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smooth thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be short, day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and their kings may be brought. Now, verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that, that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. My friend, this is the point I got to and I woke up. But let's go on because I read all when I woke up. I know that all is for me and to fulfill and to possess. Now, look at that place in verse 13. And the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee and the fig tree and the pine tree and the bush together to be the place of my sanctuary. And now we make the place of my feet world glorious. The sons of them that have flitted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves at the sole of thy feet. Can you see it? And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Wherefore, whereas, look at it, verse 15, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, you will hurt. So that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Enter, enter the covenant. You and I, you and I, you and I. This promise is to us in Jesus' name. Now, look at that place where I read it. Something led me to be reading this, this covenant to you. It should have been tomorrow, but something. I'm going to come to that point now. Now, it says, verse 16, Thou shalt also suck the meek of the Gentiles, and shall suck the breasts of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, I am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Now, now look at that point now. I said all those things you think you have there, my friend, turn your back from them. God will give you original thing. Look at verse 17. For brass, uh, you are there struggling with brass. The Lord said what? I will bring gold. For iron, I will bring silver. For wood, brass, and for stone, iron. I will, I will also make thy office a peace and thy exertors what? Righteousness. God will do it for us. Say amen. amen. Violence shall no more be had in thy land. Wasting of destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy word salvation and thy gaze praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day. Neither shall thy, neither for brightness 
shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light. And thy God, thy glory. My God, my glory, glory. Oh, glory, glory. Oh, glory, glory. Oh, glory, glory. Oh, my glory, glory. Oh, glory, glory. My God, my glory. My God, my glory. My God, my glory. Glory, glory. Oh, glory, glory. Oh, glory, glory. Oh, glory, glory. Oh, my glory, glory. Oh, my glory, glory. Oh, my glory, glory. I can see that you are charged. Yes, choosing people and all the brethren that are here, we don't glory in men. We don't glory in anything. We glory in God who have chosen us. That is why you see these men, able men, how they jump out and able sister jump. My God, my glory, glory. Uh, glory, glory. Uh, glory, Leo. Uh, glory, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I didn't say you should come out. Praise the Lord. He see you. We have entered the covenant. We shall possess our possessions. Can I hear you say amen? Praise the Lord. All I want to let you know is this joy and rejoicing is wonderful, but it shall be complete when we shall cross over this world. By the grace of the Lord, when we shall gather at the feet of the Lord, I was celebrating what he did for us at the cross of Calvary. He gave us abundance of life. He gave us peace. He gave us blessings. He gave us eternal life. What a great God we serve. He see you. From today, this covenant shall be fulfilled in your life. <laughs> Do you believe this? Now, let's us complete the reading so I can move forward and close. Chapter 60, I read verse 20. Thy son shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thy everlasting light. And the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a great nation. I, the Lord, will enhance it in his day. O oh Lord, the time has come. Father, hasten the covenant. Hasten the covenant blessings. Bring it to pass that time in Jesus' name. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Daddy, you are worthy to sit on the throne. The God of choosing, you are worthy to sit on the throne. Our Redeemer, you are worthy to sit on the throne. The most Redeemer, you are worthy to sit on the throne. Amen. I want to round up. I can see that you're already rejoicing in the covenant. Praise the Lord. 
In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it's about seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things, how many? And all these things, how many? Shall be added unto you. So, once we give our life to Jesus Christ and begin to live right by his grace, I'm assuring you, we shall have all these blessings upon our life. And we shall dwell in the abundance of God's blessings. Are you hearing me? Don't forget. In John chapter 10, verse 10, I come that they might have life. Have it more abundantly. That's why he came. To give us abundance of life. Remember? Paul, the apostle, Peter, and the rest of the apostles had not had, take note of this point, had abundance of blessings. Yet, they did not buy a car or build a house. Or even a master, our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one that gave us abundance of life. He was not, you know, uh, buying a house and buying a car and buying this and buying that. I want to let you know, be content with what you have. You have the greatest, the Spirit of God. Are you hearing me? Now, with the Spirit of God upon you, if God has given you this or that, rejoice in it. But do not allow those things to cost your salvation or make you move out of faith. Are you hearing me? This thing belongs to you. Seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. How many? What do you need to do? Desire that thing. It belongs to you. The desires of the righteous shall be what? Granted. Desire, he will give it to you. And you don't need to struggle. All things are yours. How many things? Choosing people. Did I say that all the word of God said it? I'm asking you. The word of God says it. How many things are yours? Therefore, let no man glory in man. You see today, I'm going to pass a law and it shall hold in heaven. Because my God said, whatever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever I lose on earth shall be losing in heaven. I'm going to pass the law on your behalf. Amen. Covenant of peace and blessing shall follow you. Amen. Oh, when I see what is happening in this church, I say, God, you are wonderful. Imagine a church that if you're a member and the ritual is hand robber catch you, you say, I may choose it. And then Andrew will say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When they are gone, when they came for several, they will come to your house and discover your children. They say, sorry. That shows you we are covenant people of God. Are you hearing me? Let me even know. If you, let me find out for you. If ever you have an encounter and you say, I may choose it. And then you, that, the danger was averted. Whether spiritual or physical, can I see your hands up? Can I see your, I, my hand is up? Can I see your hands up? He said, I am a choosing. And the danger averted. Yes. Now, I want to let you know we are covenant people of God. Can I hear you say amen? amen. So, let me begin to round up. See, keep first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all this shall be added. So, I want to take note that all the prayers that Jesus Christ made and the apostles and blessed them, whereby they blessed the people came to pass. Am I right? Now, it was just that which is in them. That power of what? I'm not hearing you again. Power of what? Abundance. It is that power 
that has made them to perform one last. Today, you receive that power. Yeah. Power of what? He said, as many as receive him, what happened? Today, gave him power. They become the sons of God. That is the power of abundance. Praise the Lord. So, all I want to understand, when they prayed, there was miracle everywhere. Salvation, deliverance, signs and wonders and miracle by the power of abundance. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. Let's read. Chapter 4 and verse 23. I read. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse disease and torments. And those which are possessed with the devil and those which are donatic and those that have the palsy and he healed them. Yes, by the power of abundance. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 4. Matthew chapter 11. I read verse 4. Look at your Bible. Jesus answered and said unto go and show John again those things which you do here and see. The blind receive their sight and the lame walk. And the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. And the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. You can see it. This miracle was performed by the power of abundance. Now, if you look at chapter 12, verse 15, chapter 12, verse 15, I read Matthew 12, 15. But when Jesus knew it, he drew himself from thence, and great multitude followed him, and he hid them all. He was not using any medicine. He was not using any weapon. All of them was, as he speak, things will happen. Praise the Lord. Because of the power that is within. Power of the abundance. Today, as I speak, something must happen in your life. Yeah. If you believe it, say amen. Yeah. So, we should know that when we have our Lord Jesus Christ, or when we are saved through him, we we'll have all things inside us. And by faith, we draw them to feed the multitude. Brethren, what is inside me is what I'm drawing now to feed you. Equally, what is inside you as you become born again? The spirit of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the God of heaven and earth, the Trinity, as long as inside you, you can bless the whole world. Praise the Lord. Therefore, what you need to do today is to make sure you give your life to Jesus Christ. Remember, Acts chapter 6, 3 verse 6, uh, Peter said, silver and gold have I not, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, rise up and walk. The important man stood up and began to live and walk. No wonder. The reason for this is because the power of abundance, which Jesus gave us. He said, I come that they might have life, have it more abundantly. And he said, First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2, well, therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. So, even your pastor here has blessed the multitude only by the grace of God or by the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Through of us, I'm asking you a question. For the past 21 years of the existence of this church, multitude of people have been blessed all over the world. And evidences abound. And when they began to share their testimony, you see that only God can do this. Am I right? Therefore, come, let us renew the covenant. Come, enter the covenant. And it shall be a blessing to humanity. 
Have I not been a blessing to you? To Nigeria? To Africa? To Europe? To America? To the whole world? Therefore, come. Let us renew the covenant. Let's enter the covenant. Through who? Jesus Christ. So, today, out of the abundance God has given us, and given me, I will bless you today. And you must be blessed. You see today, even if you have too many costs upon you, one statement from my life, from my mouth, will cancel that cause. Even if you are sentenced to death and they are celebrating your death, they have made a mistake. Today, I cancel that day. Even if the enemy vowed as long as they are concerned that you will never marry, you will never have children, you will never make it in your life, for the fact you have stepped into this place, they have made the mistake. I cancel it in Jesus' name. In see today, I don't know the kingdom that is up against your family, against yourself. Come and make it, let me see. Come and make progress, let me see. My friend, that is why I am here. In the name of Jesus, I give you authority to make progress. He see you. I don't know those that look down upon your family. Look down upon you. And whenever you pass, they will laugh. They say, look at them. Look at him, he's carrying Bible. They thought that you are like those they mocked before. Today, I change your situation. Those people must bow before you. Those people must answer you, master. He see you. In the name of Jesus Christ, whom I serve, I cross you over. I connect you. I command blessings upon your generation in Jesus' name. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. The God of choosing, Father. Amen. 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 A big amen to that song. He said, his covenant he will not break. He see these prayers and declaration shall never, never go on for fear. <laughs> Do you hear me? Just sit down, let me round up. I see that all of you are charged. But we are going to action. Action matters a lot. Do you hear me? My Bible tells me in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, I say anything in my name, I will do. He said, Ask, it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the Lord shall open it for everyone that asketh, receive it. Now, John chapter 14, 13. I read. 14 and verse 13. And he said, what, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Verse 14. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. He see you today. I put it in your head. 
God will do it for you. God will answer you. God will visit you. God will fight for you. God will recover all the years caterpillar and canker were locusts and eating. God will recover them in Jesus' name. How many of you believe in miracle? Do you believe in miracle? Honestly, I'm serving the God of miracle. That God will visit you. Say amen. amen. Sister, say amen. amen. You see, as I begin to round up, so many of you that are here, so many of you that are watching me all over the world, hear me very well. A book of remembrance has been opened for you. It appears you have been forgotten. But God has opened a book of remembrance. From today, everything written concerning you must be fulfilled. Do you believe it? Now, let me round up. If you are not born again, if you are a backslider or compromiser, confess your sins and say, I'm sorry. I have done this. I have done that. I have done it. I am very sorry. I repent. I will not do it anymore. God, show me mercy because of Jesus who died for me, who died for you at the cross of Calvary at this particular time, 2,000 years ago. Because of Jesus who died for me, who shed his blood for me and was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for my justification. Father, show me mercy. Use the blood of Jesus Watch my sins away from my heart. From today, I renounce all of them. I surrender to Jesus. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord, my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to live the Christian life. From today, that power shall be given unto you. And your covenant with God shall be renewed. And you shall enter fresh covenant all the, those who have not done it before. And from today, covenant of peace and blessing and long life shall be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. And once you are born again, once you are giving your life to Jesus, you should understand that a Christian is not a sinner. And a sinner is not a Christian. Such your life I mean, there are ways. I don't know. My Bible tells me in First John chapter three, verse eight. First John chapter three. I read verse eight. He says, "He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil." Verse nine. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for he still remains him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. So, verse 8 says, A sinner is not a Christian. And verse 9 says, A Christian is not a sinner. Such your life. If you are asking what is sin, look at 1 John chapter 5, verse 17a. All unrighteousness is sin. Anything that is not righteousness, unbelief, unforgiveness, disobedience, stubbornness, anger, lying, hatred, envy, contention, pride. These are terrible sins. I mean, your ways and promise God no more. 
I don't know the wickedness you are into. Love of money, love of the world, conventiousness. Renounce them today in sincerity of faithfulness. Confess and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Exaggeration. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Backbite, murmuring. Speaking evil of other people. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I will do it no more. All those people who are all same people, swearing with heaven and earth, worshiping idol, making idol, having idol in your heart. Anything that takes the place of God in your life, that's an idol. Renounce them and say, Lord, I am sorry. And those that go to native doctors, those people that go to, you know, for palm reading, all those that go for divination, that is sin. Those that go to make sure for progress, that's no problem with the native doctor, no progress with them. They have nothing. I mean, you are ways. Are you going to, are you among those reading seven book of Moses, magical book? Are you consulting the dead? Going to burial ground, repent and promise God no more. I mean, you are ways. And if you are among those that are into secret court, open court, local court, international court, campus court, any kind of courtism is sin. Renounce them and promise God no more. Ask for the mercy of God. God will show you mercy. Those are into stealing, into picking pocket, stealing from their mother, from their father, from their company, from their parents. Repent. Those are the fraud. I do black people, white people, that do. Repent. Those inter internet fraud. Yahoo, Yahoo fraud. Repent and promise God no more. I mean, your ways. I don't know the evil. Those into burglary, they break the home of people, pack their load, repent and say, God, no more. Those into arm robbery, repent and promise God, no more. I don't know the kind of stealing or fraud you are into. Renounce them and ask for the mercy of God. God will show your mercy. I mean, your ways. I don't know the All those into, I know, into masturbation, fornication, adultery, homosexual, lesbianism, lusting after evil things. Renounce them and say, Lord, I am sorry. Those into prostitution, local and international prostitution, those visiting the prostitute and those that commit abortion or end abortion, confess them and say, Lord, I am sorry. The Lord will show you mercy. And all those that are into hired assassin, ritual killing, kidnapping and killing, mandatory, any kind of killing, repent and promise God no more. I mean, your ways. No mother has inheritance in the kingdom of God. And if you are among those people that are into the giving bribe, taking bribe, extorting money from people because of their uniform, repent and promise God no more. All those that are fighting, quarreling, beating their wife, disobedient their husband, repent and promise God no more. I mean, your ways. I don't know the evil you are into. Now is acceptable that tomorrow may be too late. Those that work in for people, they do not do the work. They collect salary. They steal. That's fraud. After their salary, they'll make sure they work and close the company that was open for their favor. Repent and promise God no more. And if are those people are working for you, don't pay them. Repent and ask for mercy and begin to pay them. I mean, your ways. All those people that take snow, smoke cigarettes, Indian hemp, cocaine, heroin, and um, any kind of drug, repent and promise God no more. All those that into, into alcoholic drinks, white, uh, white uh, mimbo, brokutu, beer, 1% or half percent, repent and promise God no more. I mean, your ways. 
I don't know the evil you are into. Now is acceptable time. Tomorrow may be too late. Look at your Bible. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. I read 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And from verse 9. And it reads from verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers, so they say with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. All such people, the Bible says, they shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And if you are among those that marry and divorce, that they sin. Or you enter polygamous marriage, that they sin. Marriage is between a man and a woman until they do all part. If that has not separated you, don't go into that. I mean, you are ways. I don't know the evil you are into. If you have run away from your husband, return back to him. If you are sending away your wife, bring her back. And if you're a second wife or third wife or fourth wife, you are committing adultery, pack your load and go. And if a man that married them two, three, four, five, remove them and return your first wife. My Bible says in Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. I read Matthew chapter 19, read the verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning, made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they twin shall be one flesh. Wherefore, there are no more twin, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So, marriage is between a man and a woman until they do all part. And if you are there, you paint your hands and paint your leg and paint your mouth. And paint your body. That is sin. Or you put extra finger, extra eye, extra nose, attachment and weave on and palming and earrings and jewelry and bangle and painting. You don't need them. Or you're a young man that do Jericho, rough hair, scattered hair, you play the hair like a woman. And then you walk cross and the rose, uh, rosary rings and at your day you're expert in prayer. It's about to be a thief. You don't need cross in your neck. Cross is a cause. Christ is no longer on the cross. You don't need the finger rosary and say you are praying. My friend, those things are just religious observances of no value. Repent and promise to God no more. I mean, there are ways. And if you are, you know, you are a man or woman bleaching your body, becoming yellow overnight, uh, yesterday you are a black woman, a black woman, and today you are a yellow, yellow man. You, that is sin. You don't need to bleach your body. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30 says, when they are spoiled, what shall they do? So they go after paint, after ornament. They begin to make up. And if you are among those that dress, they expose their chest, their armpit, their tummy, their lives, they expose their nakedness to seduce. A Christian is not a seducer. And a, a seducer is not a Christian. Repent and cover your body properly well. And mend your ways. I don't know the evil you are into. A woman wearing trousers, dressing like a man, wearing a cap like a man, a man wearing skirt and blouse, dressing like a woman, that is abomination before God. You don't need that at all, at all. Deuteronomy 22, I read verse 5. Deuteronomy, the Bible says, such people are abomination. Chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Now that the man put on woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination of the Lord thy God. All such people are what? Abomination. And abominable people cannot enter heaven. Revelation 21, verse 8, and I read. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. But they fear for an unbelieving and abominable and, and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars to have their part in the lake which born with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. 
all such people shall be cast into a hell fire. Repent and promise God no more. Don't forget, if you're asking me, Pastor, why are you mentioning these things? The reason is, if you don't know you are sin, you cannot repent of them. Proverbs 28 verse 13 says, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whoso that confess them and forsake them shall have mercy. If you want to have mercy, acknowledge your sins. Confess them, renounce them. As for what? Mercy. God will show you mercy. Remember, he has made a provision for the sins that are passed. In Exodus chapter 12, verse 13, he said, When I see the blood, I will pass over you. The blood has been shed. Hebrews chapter uh, 9, verse 20, he said, Without the shedding of blood, there shall be no remission of sin. In the Old Testament, they were shedding the blood of animal of, without blemish, lamb without blemish. But that is a symbol for the blood of Jesus, which is to come in the New Testament. So the Old have been done away. But the new is the blood of Jesus. In the book of John chapter 1, I read verse 29. Please open your Bible. Let's read John chapter 1 verse 29. The next day John said Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Who is that Lamb? Jesus Christ. By his blood, our sins are washed away. No wonder. In John chapter 3, verse 16, he said, For oh God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth it shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And also, in the book of in John chapter 19, verse 30, he says, when Jesus shed the blood, he said, it is finished. The end of all sacrifice was saying, it is all over. It is finished. No one like he said in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way. No other one, no other person. No other way. I am the way. I'm not a way. The way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. It's the only way. If you want to be saved, if I want to reconcile with God, if I want to enter the covenant of peace and blessings, it is only through who? Jesus Christ. No wonder in John chapter 14, I mean, I read it. Now, chapter 10, verse 10, he said, I come that them I have life, have it more abundantly. And also, in the book of John chapter 8, verse 36, Jesus said, if the Son therefore shall make you free, what happened? You shall be free in the easy today, freedom shall come your way. And in Matthew chapter 11, 28, Jesus said, Come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 12, he said, But as many as receive him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God. You see today that power of sonship I'm giving to you. The power of covenant of peace and blessings of abundance shall be given to you in Jesus name are you getting ready now to enter the covenant to renew the covenant and mend your ways repent and renounce and promise God all the compromise no more all unrighteousness no more all iniquity no more and we shall renew the covenant now and tomorrow remember in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 Verse 17 said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, what happened is a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. He see you today. There shall be transformation. Let us renew the covenant. Let us enter the covenant. Let us amend our ways. He see from today. God will look at you. He will look at you with respect. Because of what? In Exodus chapter 2. Please, let's see. I'm rounding up now. I'm rounding up. Just get ready. We are going to enter the covenant now. And after that, God will look at you with respect. He will answer your prayers. Chapter 2 and verse 24. And God had their, their groaning 
And God remember his covenant with who? Abraham, Isaac, and with Jacob. Look at verse 25. What happened? And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God did what? Have respect to them. He see to them. God will remember the everlasting covenant. The new covenant. The living covenant. The covenant that's better than the, the covenant of old. That covenant made with, see with the blood of Jesus. God will look at, to, at it today. He will have respect to you. He will answer your prayers in Jesus' name. He see you. As God sees the mark of blood of Jesus. Oh, it shall be mark of sonship. Mark of ownership. Mark of covenant. And you shall be a blessing to people. In fact, Paul the apostle said, as Paul. Are you sleeping? Is it because of the sun? As Paul. Who would it like to be like that? As Paul. You are not poor. But he just, you know, behave as a poor man. Because whoever that have Christ has the riches of Christ. You can never be a poor person. Yeah. Let me put it on you. You are not a poor person. Yeah. And you can never be poor. Yeah. I didn't hear you again. Yeah. You have the spirit of who? Inside you. And somebody look at you and say, you're a poor man. God forbid. Do you know who made heaven and earth? Eh? Jesus. God created the whole world with the word of his mouth. And the word of God is what? Jesus Christ. So that Jesus is inside. Even God, the Father, the Son, is living inside. And somebody look at you and say, poor man. God forbid. Let me ask you a question. Are you a poor man? Are you sure? Uh, sister, are you a poor, a poor, poor woman? <laughs> because greater is he that is in you. And he inside the world. And the, the source of supply is living inside you. And if he is not there today, as we are going to pray now, he will come in. And the covenant will be established. Covenant of peace and blessings and what? Long life. Covenant of blessings. It will come upon you. I said today it will come upon you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? And listen to me. Now is acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. As you hear this word, harden not your heart. As in the day of provocation, when they had in their heart, go kill them. 23,000 in one day. Harden not your heart. Open your heart to receive Jesus so that there will be transformation and abundance of life in Jesus' name. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, all oh, things are passed away. And because all things have become new. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for Jesus? Let me even ask this question. Who is ready to enter covenant today? Who is ready to renew the covenant? I, you see how many hands? My hands up. Who is ready to renew covenant today? In Romans chapter 10, verse 13, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be set. Rise up and let us pray. Amen. I your ways. Confess your sin. Repent of the acts for mercy. Ask God to forgive me. I'm sorry. Let's go back to the covenant. I'm sorry. Everybody pray. Everybody. Everybody. God, show me mercy. Oh Lord, wash me in the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, sanctify me. Oh Lord, show me mercy. Father, walk on me. Rekha Sandeli, come pray. I'm sorry. 
where wrong, right, so, 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 where, so, action or disposition, forgive me, purge me, cleanse me, oh Lord, I'm sorry for everything, oh God, don't unknown and unknown to me, every, oh Lord, every impurity or righteousness, selfishness or greed or covetousness, or love or love of the world, every evil done, Lord, on the contrary, you go back, I repent, I renounce, ask for the mercy of God, forgive me, cleanse me, for I save me, let's so hear my risk in the any complaint, Lord, save me, save Everyone watch us the blood of us purify everyone pray let's really pray this is a day to renew the covenant a day to enter the covenant a day to remember everybody pray have mercy O oh Lord forgive me O oh Lord I repent O oh Lord show me mercy everybody pray Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Lord, we ask for mercy. Forgive us. Forgive me. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Forgive us, O Lord. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Forgive us, O Lord. Save us, O Lord. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Lord, we are asking for mercy. Miss your Lord, miss your Lord. Have mercy upon us. Our Messiah, have mercy upon us. Our Father, have mercy upon me. The God that chooses, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon the chosen. Our Messiah, have mercy upon us. Abba, Father, have mercy upon me. The God of Jesus, have mercy upon me. Abba, Father, have mercy upon us. Merciful God, have mercy upon us. Abba, Father, oh, mercy, mercy. Everybody plead for mercy. Have mercy upon us. Our Redeemer, have mercy upon us. Abba, Father, oh, mercy upon us. The God of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Our Messiah, have mercy upon us. Abba, Father, oh. The God of Eyes closed and head bowed. If you are sincerely asking for mercy, and you want to give your life to Jesus to enter the covenant to renew the covenant. Can you raise your two hands up? I want to pray for you. Is it everybody? Well, it is a, a matter of entering the covenant afresh and renewing. So I suppose everybody must be involved. I want to pray for that person that is living in a terrible adultery as for the mercy of God. The one that is stealing as for mercy. The one smoking and drinking. The one taking in their hand, taking drug as for mercy. The one that is into lesbianism as for mercy. The young man into masturbation as for mercy. Even the one involved in homosexual. As for mercy, don't try it anymore. I mean, you are with that person that killing. As for mercy, 
the one that belonged to secret court, asked for mercy. That lady that belonged to marine kingdom and used it as witchcraft, destroying people, asked for mercy. Keep your hands up. That anger, that bitterness, that terrible anger. Say, I'm sorry, God forgive me. I will do it. Now, the person that committed you know, abortion and even died into prostitution asked for mercy. I will do it no more. You fight, you visiting the prostitute asked for mercy. Keep your two hands up. Say this word after me. Almighty God. I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I confess that I am a sinner. I am very sorry for all my sins. Lord, I promise you, I will never continue in them anymore. For today, I confess and I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. He shed his precious blood for me. And he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for my justification. Almighty God, use the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash my sins away from my heart. I plead the blood of Jesus. I reject the devil. I reject all the evil. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to sin no more. From today, I enter the covenant. From today, renew the covenant. I surrender all to Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep your two hands up. Sing this song. I surrender. I surrender. All to Jesus. Bless two hands up and pray for you. Heavenly Father, I come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I present everyone here and everyone watching me all over the world. Father, whatsoever they have done, known and unknown to them, in your role, Remember me, see. Yeah. Every yoke of power that make them to do evil, by authority, I break that yoke. Yeah. I pray that the rules that that make nature be uprooted from our hearts in Jesus' name. Yeah. Sanctify everyone. Oh God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, possess everyone here in Jesus' name. 
bring us to the covenant of peace and blessing and long life let it be our portion Lord renew that covenant life of all the chosen one worldwide in Jesus name we plead the blood of Jesus 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 let the covenant blessings of abundance power of abundance rest upon us in Jesus name shall be amen let's bring down our hands keep your offering up keep it up I'm praying for you your offering your tithe of pledges Whatever you want to offer or so seed for this great covenant, ah, something will happen. Brethren, if you know what you have done today, you will be rejoicing and jubilating. If you know what is coming your way from today, all of you that are struggling from today, life shall no longer be by struggle. All of you that are crying and sorrowful, it was before. All of you that cannot sleep because of the things of this world, God will give you surprises. <laughs> Keep your up. Father, thank you for these tight and pledges and offering. No one can give above you. As we give, sanctify them by the blood of Jesus. And give us beyond our expectation of power in Jesus' name. Bless everyone. In Jesus, powerful name we pray. Those that have nothing to offer, Lord, bless them so that next time they shall have something to give to you. In Jesus, powerful name we pray. Say amen to that prayer. Covenant of peace and bless. Covenant of peace, oh, oh, and of blessing. Covenant of peace and blessing. Oh, 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 peace. Over the chosen. Where is it? Sister Piero, oh, come and sing that song. Sister leading the PRO. Sister Favor, come and sing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the chosen. Where are you? Sing it. God. Covenant of peace. Mm -hmm. Covenant of blessings. Covenant of peace and blessings. God's covenant of peace and blessings over the whole world. All over the whole world. Over the whole world. Over the whole world. Over the God's covenant of peace and blessing over the nations, covenant of all over the nations, over the nations, over the nations. Hallelujah, God's covenant of peace and blessing over the nation. All over the nation, over the nation, over the nation. Yeah. Over the continent, covenant of peace. All over the continent, 
Over the continent, over the continent. Hallelujah, God's covenant stop. Over Africa, covenant of peace. All over Africa, say, over Africa. Over Africa, yeah, God's covenant of over the Asia, all over the Asia, Asia continent, over the Asia. Yeah. Yes. Over North America, covenant of peace. Over North America, South America, East America. Hallelujah. All over the Europe, over the Europe, over the Europe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aha, God's covenant of peace and blessing is upon a geo covenant of peace and blessing. Is upon a geo. I want be love Gio. I want love the Gio. Hallelujah. It's upon a be love Gio. It's upon a Gio. Upon a Gio. Upon a Gio. I'm blessed. God, covenant of peace and bless. He's upon choosing pastors, covenant of peace. Upon choosing pastors, I want national pastors. I want state coordinators. Hallelujah. Upon a newcomer's covenant of peace. He's upon a newcomer's, our guests of honor, all over the whole world. Amen. It is done. Praise the Lord. We have entered. The covenant is renewed. Tomorrow the blessing will be poured upon everyone. Now, but now mention something. Now follow the covenant. Say, God, do it for me. Do this for me. Do this for me. Do that for me. Pray. Abundance of blessing follows the covenant. Blessings spiritually, physically, materially, financially. Pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray.
In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, wherever you are, it is your turn to be blessed. I want to pray for somebody here. Your case is limitations. In fact, if you want to climb up, something will happen. You will just fall back. Either dream, either you are messed up in the dream. Either you, they give you food or cobwebs cover your face. Something strange will happen. Then you just go down. Today I cancel the evil. In the name of Jesus, I cross you over. I want to pray for you. You have been having terrible, constant urinate. You look as if though that is the full blown diabetes. I cancel it for you. I pray and decree that this night you will never unite more than once. And somebody is here, you will not unite at all at all through the night. And that person have a heart pain. You have this pain that will be lasted for years. If you breathe, you find the pain. Every time a friend comes and go, I cost that pain. Yeah. Let it be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. The woman of left breast cancer, left, this one started left, I cost that pain. Yeah. I command that it disappear in Jesus' name. Yeah. The one with left poison also, that poison, I cancel it. I command it to dry up within 24 hours in Jesus' name. That person having forgetfulness, be free. And you that people hated you for nothing. Even when you do good to people, they will pay you with hatred. I cancel that evil. I command it to change to favor in Jesus' name. Yeah. And you that hardly, in fact, hardly, you have a big money. Every time you will hear about money, you will talk about money, but let the money enter your bank or your hand. Nowhere. Today I clear that hurdle. Yeah. By the blood of Jesus. I command from now on, money will enter your hand, enter your account, enter your bank. In the name of Jesus, that person owing many people, let the debts be cancelled. The one owing bank, I call for intervention, Lord, intervene, let that debt be paid in Jesus' name. I command that West to be healed. I cause that Staphylococcus to be healed. That HIV, you will never see it anymore be healed. In Jesus' name. The terrible cough. I cause the cough. Let it disappear. That person having moving object. I command that object to die and vanish away in Jesus' name. Yeah. Come west, you will never see it anymore. Yeah. Internal hotness of the body be healed. Yeah. Let the high beep be healed. Yeah. The low beep be healed. Yeah. I command that high fall fever be healed. Yeah. Malaria parasite be healed. That delay in conception, I break the yoke. I command that this day be the last day you will see your period. 
and this then mark the day of conception in Jesus' name. Really, I pray for somebody. You don't even, you are not even agreeing again with prayer of conception because you have passed the age. In fact, you are 20 something years of marriage. I break the yoke today. Uh, receive your own child in Jesus' name. I command that person bleeding to cease. And I pray for these ones, all of them that are barren, receive part to conceive in Jesus' name. That miscarriages, I cancel it. That female, female children, I change all of them from now on to baby boys. I cancel delivery by operation in Jesus' name. The strange woman in your marriage, I approve that woman. Oh Lord, I pray, bring that the husband of this person back in Jesus' name. My daddy, whatever this person have lost, I command it to be restored. Let me recover it in Jesus' name. You don't sleep well. In fact, you have terrible bad dreams. Every time you close your eyes, I cancel it for you. And I pray that this night you sleep like a baby in Jesus' name. The mouth of sir be healed. The shortness of blood be canceled. Let your blood be filled. The AS be done to AA in Jesus' name. That case of impotency be healed in Jesus' name. My father, all these ones that are crying because of hardship, how things are working in their life, I break the yoke today. I command that and I pass a law from this moment, let hardship be cancelled. I command from today, wherever they go, blessings, 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 blessings. In the name of Jesus, my daddy, I pray for promotion for this person that listened to me very well. You have been so much intimidated. You have been so much a power. I don't know how to put what I call it that the people there are terribly tribalistic, working against you. I break the yoke today. In the midst of those people, I declare promotion for you in Jesus' name. My daddy, these are covenant children. Lord, the covenant will be respected today. I cross them over. I cross them over. I cross them over. Bless them in Jesus' name. That person that wants to sell a property, nobody is coming. I advertise your property. I command that from now on, let them be sold in Jesus' name. I pray for you, all of you that are having challenges where you are living. I cancel those challenges. I cancel quick notice. I cancel every evil going on in that yard, whatever they buried and planted, that nobody will free. I declare you free. My daddy. I cancel the cry of this widow. Father, visit this woman. Lord, wipe away the tears. Lord, give that person victory in Jesus' name. Whatever load this young man is carrying from the father's house, that terrible, wicked person that has been following your family and placed a load in your head, I cost that load. I want to return back to send that in Jesus' name. 
my daddy. All of them that are tied in a particular spot that they cannot move forward, I cross them over. Lord, I pray, move them forward in Jesus' name. Every appointment with death, by the covenant you enter today, that the church enter today, I revoke appointment with death. I cancel it for all the chosen ones in Jesus' name. Somebody here, the word prosperity to you is like a taboo, abomination. He see you. I begin to change your situation. I command that you prosper you endeavor in Jesus' name. All of you looking for miracle employment, I decree after this program, I decree seven days. Miracle employment. Seven days will never pass you by. Somebody, I give you three days from today in Jesus' name. Those looking for visa, miracle visa, miracle citizenship, miracle primary citizen, Lord, grant to them in Jesus' name. The court case, the police case, the case, I cancel in Jesus' name. That missing person, I command the person to come back in Jesus' name. My daddy, let the breast lump be healed. Let the toilet infection be healed. Let that smelling body be healed. Oh Lord, bless their businesses, bless their careers, bless their family, bless their life, bless their marriage. Father, intervene in Jesus' name. If you know you are blessed, say amen. Now, keep your two hands up. I want to beg you, if you brought, in fact, is there any person deaf and dumb here? Please bring that hand first. You see some people, you don't want to bring people for me in this church so that people will see what God can do. Is there anybody deaf and dumb? Anybody, show me. I can't find one. Bring these people. I think I have to be going around and leave you people alone here. Every case of death and dumb, I break the yoke. Yeah. I lose you. I command to speak well in Jesus' name. Yeah. If there is anybody there and dumb, that person is free. Please check around. If you brought somebody, can you text the person? Say one, two, papa, mama. I can't find even any person that heard and so I said I brought anyone. Bring them to come. And believe if I don't see you, I brought somebody, that person, I lose the person. Say so, amen. Every glaucoma be cancelled. Cataract be cancelled. Blindness be cancelled. Let them be free in Jesus' name. Abnormal growth be uprooted. I pray for brand new liver, brand new, brand new heart, brand new kidney. I command let it be granted in Jesus' name. Every missing organ, organ that we that, that stop functioning, organ that disappear, I command to be restored in Jesus' name. Let there be recreation, 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 recreation. Lord, every load, every evil load, every growth, every hunchback, every hyena, every evil load, every sickness, I cost them now. Let them be protected in Jesus' name. My daddy, bless me this once. Spiritually, physically, materially, financially, I declare blessings for the chosen ones in Jesus' name. All of you watching me in Canada, be blessed. Receive your citizenship, your stay in Jesus' name. 
Those who watch me in England, be blessed. We begin to receive your teaching, your visa, and all that case in home office be cancelled. In such a home be cancelled. In Jesus' name, those watching me in Australia, in New Zealand, receive your miracle. In Jesus' name, I pray for employment, I pray for intervention, I pray for healing. In Jesus' name, all those watching me all over the world, in Germany, in South America, in Kenya, in Japan, wherever they're watching me, Oh Lord, I call for intervention. In China, intervene in Jesus' name. That I cancel the problem of my people. All over West Africa, East Africa, North Africa, South Africa, Central Africa, all over the world. In Jesus' name. That he bless them one by one. Put laughter in their mouth. Put testimony in their mouth. Who want to testify tomorrow? Who, who? Me, number one. In the name of Jesus, receive your miracle. Now, that hands you are lifted up. Tap it anywhere you have pain. Pain in the ribs. Pain in the stomach. Pain in the heart neck pain, dryness in the throat, touch it in the brain, in the head, touch it receive your miracle in Jesus name say amen three times and it is amen in heaven remember tomorrow will be the climax Come and inherit the covenant blessings. Come tomorrow. I will hear your testimony. Bring all the people, the blind, the deaf, and the, the paralyzed, the insane. Bring all the needy, the barren, the, all the people. Bring them tomorrow. Let them enter the covenant. Thank God for you. Do you know you're a covenant child of God? I want to hear you now. Do you know you're a covenant child of God? God will look at you. He will respect that covenant. You answer your prayers. And remember tomorrow, we're starting by 7 a.m. Come on time so I can close you on time. This time we close. Do you like it? Oh yeah, come on time tomorrow. We will give you the best of the time. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. Don't come alone. Bring somebody when you are coming tomorrow. I'm the God of choosing answer. Pray out. I said, the God of choosing answer. Pray out. God of choosing. Chosen and says prayer. The God of chosen and says prayer. The God of chosen and says prayer. I said, the God of choosing and says prayer. God of chosen and says prayer. I said, the God of choosing and says prayer. The God of chosen. Chosen and sas pray. The God and Your prayer is answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know today covenant and peace and blessing and long life is upon your head? Covenant of peace and blessings. God, covenant of peace. God, covenant of blessing. Oh, covenant of peace and blessing. Covenant of peace and blessing. 
All over the walk of the top is a blessing. God's covenant of peace. God's covenant of blessing. Covenant of peace a blessing. God covenant of peace and blessing. All over the chosen cup, the peace of blessing. God's covenant of peace. God's covenant of blessing. Covenant of peace and blessing. God's covenant of peace and blessing. Wow! Covenant of peace and blessings of God resting upon you. Remember that tomorrow is the grand finale. The D Day, the message, and spread the news. Tell everyone to come to renew the covenant, the blessings of the covenant that have been renewed today. Come on time, come with your testimonies. We want to rejoice with you. Praise the Lord.